Anyway. Oh, there's the sound bar. Yep. It'll do that. That's what it need that's what it's supposed to be doing. Alright. Hello Tedians and welcome back to uh Ratchet and Clank 2. Yeah. Uh Cohen Commando. That's the that's the subtitle. Okay. I, I forgot what it was. So, are we just going to be farming bolts, or are we going to continue the story? No, I think we're going to continue something. We spent some time at the end of last session... Farming bolts. Just farming bolts. Um, on this place. Yeah, and um, we need to get to Uzula, but we're just getting our asses handed to us. Who's... Or not Uzula, it's one of these places. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm looking at, because it's been, I think, two weeks or three weeks now. It's been at least two weeks. At least two weeks, anyway, since the last time we did this. Because, uh, uh schedule stuff. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, my job has been fucking with my schedule, so. Fuck you, Planet Tabora. God damn it. Explore the area. This that's is the, not this vague is the at fucking all. location we're in, too. Yeah, that's not vague at we're all. We're gonna ignore that for now, because I don't know what the fuck we're supposed to do there. We can't do that, we need a thing for it. Enter the Megacorp games. Yeah, and we can't get there because we're getting our asses handed right, to Right, that us. was actually our next thing we had to do. Yeah. I guess we're going to get our asses kicked then. I mean, there's no other objectives other than explore the area here. Which, which is, is incredibly vague, and I mean... And I think that's that one place... <laughs> I think that's that one place you can Mega see in the God, distance. I'm sure. I'm 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 get, I'm get. Sorry. If you look in the distance, that's that one area up there that I think we can't get to. That's what we're supposed to explore, right? Yeah, I think that's what it is, but we can't get up there. Yeah. So, uh, saying this openly, but also partially directed at Jacob. Um, so, I, I have a lot of, I'm very swamped with editing. <laughs> yes. I've been trying recently to make these videos slightly more like the like like some of our old series where I did a lot of editing jokes mm -hmm. and like the last two episodes of this series have been a little bit more like that okay. um, but I think for this one I am really swamped with editing this week so we're just gonna, throw so I'm gonna it up as is. yeah I'm gonna try to minimize editing if possible all right um, God I miss being able to just buy all ammo at once. That's not a thing you can do in this, is it? No. Damn it. Uh, I know I that you said you were it. replaying some of the older ones. Or some of the newer ones, actually, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. what I meant to say. Yeah, before you got here, I was replaying um, Into the Nexus, which is the most recent one, other than... What the fuck was that? <laughs> you know, know what? I'm just going. What's the button to go again? Uh, I don't know. That was it, but unfortunately I'm also dead. Also, wasn't there a- didn't we get boots or something? Yeah, it sort of lets you superman your way across the battlefield. I'm trying to figure out what that- what button does that. Ah, uh, it was double tap, right? Okay. And if you hold it, you can sort of keep going. Yeah, to a limited extent. Oh, shit. What's the spot that was on your radar? Um, I think it's like a spider drone thing you can use, um, it's a weapon, but I think it might be like remote controlled, sort of like the Visibomb, okay. because when I activated it, my camera just fucking whacked out. Okay, that feels an entire, like, wheel of damage. It does, it does, so we do need to look, be on the lookout for that. Um, I think, I think I can, I think I can do this if I can, like, just spam running through it. Yeah, hopefully we get to a checkpoint with it in time. Yeah, these these will be helpful right here. Yeah, clearly they intended for you to be taken. Yeah. Fucking Maybe you hell. have more damage than is reasonable. Can. Yeah. Yeah. No. These guys just straight up deal a wheel of damage. Do you wanna? It's it's technically your turn if we're still doing that. So. I can fucking try. <laughs> um, I mean, right now we're up to that part of the game where it's like. Uh, the, the, the appeal of our content shifts from 
uh, enjoying the story of the game to uh, making ridiculous statements for comedic effect. <laughs> so that's where we are right now. You ever notice that? There's always a shift. It happened in... Uh, it happened in the Kingdom Hearts games. It happened in... Uh, it happens in most of the games we play. Where we reach the difficulty spike, and, and it becomes less about like, ah, oh, hey, let's enjoy the cinematic nature of this game, and more about like, all right, it's funny how stupid we are. <laughs> okay. I can't explain it, but that's kind of the gist. I'm just getting destroyed. I know, fuck the turret, dude. You gotta touch the pad. Oh, or not. Apparently they just blow shit up. Good to know. All right. Well, you're doing better than I was, so that's good. And there's no one here that shoots at you, so you'll be fine climbing that ladder. Yeah. These guys will fuck you, though. Hit that and then run, because you will lose all your health in five seconds here. This is like the place where you lose all your health. If you haven't already by this point. Let me in! Let me in! This is just a dead end, isn't it? No way. No way. Well, okay, get your bearings. Stand where you can't uh, where you can't be attacked. Over here, I think you're safe at least for a second to turn around. Okay, now we need to figure out where we're going first. There is a door... Yeah, it's the other door. Look it. No, you're up. It's up top. Not the star. It's the arrow. Yeah, yeah. So it's just the other door. There, there was two doors here. It's just the other one. Hopefully that one also blows open on its own. Or you can try and take out the turret guy if you want, and then use the turret to open the door. Or that. That works too. Oh shit. God Health. damn it. Health, get it. Okay, go. Go, <laughs> This game is absurd. Oh, okay, it's, it's going on its own. That's obviously gonna pop out too. I could have just walked out. Yeah, technically. Actually, I don't know. You might have. It might have been too, 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 too uh, short of space. Uh, I saw that come. Haha. -ha. Well, nice. Apparently, we were like inches away from the. Oh. Uh. I was gonna say inches away from the part where it becomes doable, but then. Uh, and you I started getting shot on again. Jump scared there. Yeah. It's like, we're not gonna kill you. We're gonna scare the shit out of you. <laughs> okay, how do I... I think you had to be on the other side. Oh, you probably... Oh, shit, I was gonna say you can probably jump over it. If you go from one to the other. Yeah, I was trying to do that, but I missed the platform. Yeah. It's okay, this was a continue point. Yeah, we were like inches away from a continue point the last time when I was doing this. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a bit of a disappointment. That's fitting. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah. It is just above your head. Yeah. May I want to move left. Still with that shit. So, yeah. Uh, that's the situation we're in. Mm -hmm. um, I was playing into the Nexus um, to remind myself why I even like these games. <laughs> Did uh, you successfully remind yourself? Yeah, it, the the later ones do play a lot nicer. And it was also, also part of the reason I was playing it was because you made me doubt myself that one time when you were like, uh, when you said, um, oh shit, sorry. Uh, you made me doubt myself that one time when we were talking about how the controls in the later games are better, and I was saying, uh, how it plays, like, like when you hold the R1 button, or R, the R, L2, R2 or L2 in this, I think. Whichever one locks your camera angle. Yeah, it's L2. Or um, R2. I think it's actually both of them. Like, either of them will do it. Okay, yeah, both of them. Yeah. But anyway, uh, I was talking about how the later games always play that way, and you said that seems like it would be annoying. And I started to doubt myself, like, wait, are the later games good? And then I started playing <laughs> to remind myself, and yeah, they're a lot... They, they are a lot smoother than these. What the fuck is this? What is this? I don't know if you'll like it better, because uh, I know your background in games probably didn't include third-person shooters all that much. Like, um, fast-paced third-person shooters. Not really. Yeah, so I don't know if you'll like it better, but at least for me, I think the controls are way smoother. Because it kind of just plays like a third-person shooter. It's like, honestly, the, the first Ratchet & Clank game is a platformer that they shoved guns into, and the later... Oh, that was really convenient. You had one health left. Yes. <laughs> and the later yeah, Ratchet & Clank no, games... I have no idea how I'm supposed to progress. You can go. I just climb up and yeah. some fucking tank fire. 
I think so. Oh, you know what? Try using either the spider thing that I had equipped, or the visibomb. And what was the spider? Uh, it's not on this menu. I was gonna say you could you could like curve it around the ledge to get them. Just go into weapons. Don't bother with quick select. It'd just be a waste of time because we're only gonna use it like once or twice. Spider bomb. Yeah, and then see if you can like toss it up top and then you explode it, right? Yeah, there it is. See, that's what I was talking about. Okay, so they just made a better visible by making the old visible fucking shit. I think we might actually have been inputting something wrong on no. the old visible. Because when I was reading the wiki, they did not mention it being as shit as it is. I mean, unless you have to, like, hold down the controls to do it. It's worth trying sometime, that is not now. <laughs> but, it's possible. That would be dumb, I agree. But that is possible that that is how they made it work. Um... What was I saying? Oh yeah, the first Ratchet & Clank game is basically a platformer that they shoved guns into, whereas the later Ratchet & Clank games are basically a shooter that has platforming mechanics. <laughs> and like, the slow evolution. Yeah, exactly. Which is why this I... This is definitely like demonstrating the beginning of that shit. Yeah, for sure. The later Ratchet & Clank games I think are easier too. Okay. Hey, um, you still going to the games? Oh, it's this yeah. guy again. Yeah, what's it to ya? Whoa, take it easy, Chief. I ain't looking for no trouble. Just an honest man looking to make an honest buck. I sincerely doubt that. Hey, I ain't the one trying to get into a sold-out arena. You're gonna need to <laughs> levitate it to get in there. 20,000 bolts. Good thing we saved money. I mean, damn. Fuck. Nice doing Shit. business with you again. What is the levity? Need to, uh, relocate. Hmm. The instructions are in Blargian. Goodbye. <laughs> it says here, tab A, cozy to slot B. Okay, and then magnetize the graviton matrix, remove your left arm, what? and... <laughs> Done! I really, I really don't want to do this, but it. before it cuts Down to Clank, can we get the, the law and order? Special <laughs> victims unit thing. Dun, dun. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I know I said I wanted to cut down on editing, but that one was too perfect. Hey, you said put this. <laughs> <laughs> it's too perfect. <laughs> it is. It's really good. The way that it just happened off screen. <laughs> Tab A goes into slot B. All right, come here, Clank. <laughs> All right, does this show up anywhere? No, I think it's just a movement upgrade, which means it's probably automatic. Did it say how to use it, though? No. Were you paying attention? No. <laughs> um, okay. Try doing the, the super jump, then. No? Okay. Look at the... look to the left. Okay, try standing on that. Maybe it's... it, it must be... Press yeah, see, location. it's location activated. Okay. Finally. Ah, oh, you've got limited fuel as well, so just be aware. Uh, can you not stop? Okay. I think you just have to equip and go. Right. Here we go. This time's for real. It's Flappy Bird. I'm not really sure where I'm going. But I'm going to get. Try going up to the top of this thing. I'm dead. <laughs> I think. I think that ring thing there you gotta go like fly into oh no there's a path yeah there. i see hold down x to gain altitude the levitator stops functioning when the fuel meter is empty nice okay well i guess there's that so it's a it's a situational jetpack mm -hmm. fair enough and in typical ratchet and clank fashion you have to pay a lot of money to continue the story yep well, at least we know uh, that much didn't change. Yeah. Are you ready for the main event? Introducing one of the fiercest gladiators in the galaxy. I wonder at which point that stops being true. 
It's probably the future series where that stops in any case. Mm. Also, somehow they knew we were coming. Yeah. Let's be honest, they should at this point. They should know. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> yes. The best weapons. Oh shit. <laughs> Spider hit was sketchy looking. Good thing we didn't get to see what they did. Yeah. Honestly. Da 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 What the hell? Ghostbusters. Oh yeah, I get it. I ain't afraid of no enemies. This is shit. I'm switching to old faithful. Tesla Claw, I think, is good for a large number of weekends. And weak with the capital W. Yeah. And also hard to hit enemies, like really small ones. Would this work this? Yeah, this actually might be a good Oh, this capital. actually didn't melt. Yeah, this is actually not a good capital. Now you're probably going to this way. Oh, what what was that? That yeah, was environmental hazards, I guess. Did this game have two uh, arenas in it? Yes. <laughs> I know the arenas are a staple of this series, but they really put two in this one, huh? Remember, if you want, you can use the straight mode. If that helps. Yeah. I forgot that that was a thing and now I'm just a lot easier. It's gonna be hard to forget that that's a thing in the future. I don't know where it starts. I don't know if it's three or four that starts it, but one of the later games. It's just the way it works. You're running out of good ammo. Okay. Oof, that killed you? Yeah. I guess they deal like... Can I check? I'm usually pretty good at these types of missions. I guess it deals an entire wheel of hit. Or a wheel of hit. I'm just maxing everything out. Okay. Um... I should also probably do if I can. Nope, I can't. Great. Excellent. Now I can do it. <laughs> should probably also fuck with the select thing if I... Mm -hmm. Because this is all combat, and we know it's all combat going in. Yeah. Actually, we already have everything equipped that's good. Well, we should probably equip the mini-nuke at least. The Visibomb? No, the mini-nuke. Which one's the mini-nuke? The nuke? second one. Top left... Oh, is that not a... Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. That isn't equipped. Uh -huh. We could... Yeah, the spider's probably not worth it. Right no, nothing you have to control would be worth it. Mm -hmm. I could put the bomb glove on. Man, fuck <laughs> the bomb glove. Wait, does the bomb glove have an upgrade? Good, yeah. I don't want to have to I don't want to have to use it to upgrade it. I don't right. think any of the base <laughs> weapons have upgrades. Any of the old weapons. Yeah. The, the old weapons. The no. base weapons from the first game. I'm just doing this to upgrade this thing, honestly. Those guys take a lot of hits. Yeah, a little bit, it seems. <laughs> Back in there. Okay, what else do we got that he's upgrading? 
Only the simp annoyed. Sim I mean, you literally just tap it and then switch to something else. Yeah, so I might as well just do that. Nothing else needs upgrading, huh? Yeah. Interesting. All right. We've upgraded our two favorite weapons in the multi-star and the whole favorite shot. Yeah. Because understandably, you wanted to use this. Is the, is the spider upgradable? I don't think so. I hope not. I don't want to have to use it. It's not on a regular basis. It's not enough to upgrade it anyway. Oh, shit. Stand back, son. I wish they gave you more easy access to the ammo in this place. Oh, there are crazy things. Yeah, you just gotta actually go looking for them. Not yep. that they're going to give you an easy opportunity. Yeah, exactly. Luckily, it seems like the enemies only come from one side. Never mind. As soon as I said that. Famous laugh. I know. These guys just take fucking hits for days. Yeah. The big boys really do. Hello. Hello there, friend. Hello, friend. Meet my little darkness. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna make an a mild hello darkness, my old friend joke, but I couldn't think of a way to say it. <laughs> but you beat me to it. Oh shit. You just fucking blow the shit up. Yeah. The FSU cannon. <laughs> <laughs> you just immediately cleared that away. I did. Jeez, these things can survive many years. Two many years at that. But not the fire, apparently. Oh yeah, the fire. You can survive thermonuclear hellfire. But regular stove top furnaces? Yeah. Just gotta send them back. Yeah. Fuck off, dude. Stop. Jeez. That shit. Looks like it's over. This is what we needed to get up it, on that thing. Up on that desert planet. Yeah. I do wanna. I do wanna. Oh. The infiltrator. The infiltrator. Oh, that's that fucking hack gun. I'm guessing we're gonna need it eventually, anyway. We're eventually going to need to get the hack. What is happening? I go. What? Oh! Oh shit! Dude! Bro. I like this one. Bro. I forgot this was the game that did this. I remembered this existing, but I, I forgot that this one was That's pretty wild. Shit. Fucking stop. <laughs> Not sure how this makes for good viewing, though. But that's besides it. This is cool. Yeah, as good shit. point. Good this point. Is, this is cool as shit. Bro. Yeah. Really though. It's cool for us at least. <laughs> yeah, keep spamming the uh, droids because they're free. Uh, what droids? Upper left. Oh right. Thanks. Oh, hang on. I gotta actually let them appear first. Shit. Um, I should tell you though, also the in the later games when they when the dual joystick controls become standard, um, it also the the fire button also changes to one of the triggers. Okay. Which is what makes it like playable. Yeah. I'll take your word for it. Because I feel like the fire button is just fine as it is. Yeah, but hitting the fire button when you're trying to aim sucks in this. I mean... Okay. Because you have to use the same finger for it. I guess. That, that makes sense. Um, like I said, though, I'm, yeah. I have not played a lot of shoot. Like, currently, this game is a fucking first-person shooter with circle as the fire button. Which is just bad. It's just a bad design. You know, it's like when they tried to make a uh, third-person adventure game for Mega Man. Mm -hmm. That one Mega Man adventure game. Yeah. Except they used tank controls. Oh to boy. To control Mega Man. <laughs> like you needed to press like L or R to rotate Mega Man. That's almost as bad as uh, making a fucking uh, platformer and then just throwing in guns at the last minute. Yeah. <coughs> Who would do that? Anyway. <laughs> what kind of game would do that? 
a bad one. I really should have bought more ammo. Oh shit, that thing does not look pleasant to deal with. How the, how the fuck? I can't look up. How the fuck do I deal with this thing? Oh, it spawns, uh, spawns spiders, so... I don't know if I'm gonna be able to beat this one. At least not on the yeah, first you try. Didn't re -up on ammo. Yeah, I really did not. You know what would actually help? Because right now the issue is that this thing keeps moving the fuck around. Fuck. <laughs> oh no. That would have helped a lot. Because those things would just shoot it for me while I deal with everything else. Is the whole gimmick that I'm just gonna use this one. Hunts. You need to use your wrench to kill the, the, the mobs at this point. Yeah, I guess you can. But the thing just keeps moving the fuck away from here. I mean, it's your only option because you're low on it. But the fucker just keeps moving away from me. I'll never get to hit him. He'll just keep moving and spawning things. See? See? Hmm, they also move slowly enough that you could avoid them. So, like, take one route to shoot at him, and then another route to deal with the mobs. Because, like, try avoiding Maybe. mobs right now instead of hitting I said try avoiding the mobs and just go up right for Oh, you mean go? Yeah. Well, too late. I'm, I'm already fucked, man. I'd have no ammo at all now. I'm already fucked. Oh, I'd have the Tesla Claw. Yeah, the Ghostbuster. Tesla Claw actually might be good against this guy. I don't know if it's enough ammo to kill him. It probably isn't, but... Like I said, try only going after the mobs when there's a lot of them. It looks like if there's already a bunch, he doesn't spawn anymore anyway. Oh, maybe not. I was wrong. This game clearly has a high object count. It, it actually does, yeah. I can stop, dude. <laughs> I'm, I'm what? Good. Do you want to try it? I mean, sure. I'm not going to do uh, Remember to buy more stuff, though. Yeah. Uh, square. square. I, it says square. I also don't know what square is on this wheel. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I always forget that. Oh, it automatically defaults to the highest number. Yes. Which is convenient. Which is an improvement, but still is not giving you the option to buy it all at once. Like the later games. Okay. I mean, that would be at nice. least there's progress being made. Yeah. That is, that is like the name of the game right now, is slight progress being made. By the way, this gun's almost maxed, almost uh, upgraded. Oh, nice. I guess the Tesla quad just puts it away. As far as upgrades go, yeah. I bet you the upgraded version lets you target, like, a bunch of things at a time. That would be cool. I hope that's the case. And this thing's just annoying. See, it just avoids you. This yeah, it shoots it like just... We're gonna need to go for the multi I think that's... Yeah, that would probably be a good option. Because though that's a really good... Uh, the tracer things would probably be pretty decent, too. Uh, I think the Lancer could be good. The Lancer is good in general. But the Lancer is kind of a good all-purpose gun. A very good first gun, oh. I suppose. Oh, yes, but what we forget is that uh, I think the bomb gun actually is the first gun. The mini is the first I said it's a good all-purpose gun. Oh, I thought you said good first gun. Yeah. The Lancer was a good first gun. The bomb glove was not a good first gun. <laughs> no, that is true. Yeah, I can straight up avoid these fucking spiders. Yeah, the spiders really are not that much of a threat. Yeah, it's also a mini nuke every now and then and just wipe them all out at once. <laughs> I love how it actually has like the mushroom cloud animation. That's what sells it, honestly. Yeah. That's what takes it from being the bomb glove to being the mini nuke. Bomb glove to Fargo versus mini nuke. Fuck the bomb glove. All my homies used the mini nuke. Nice. 
Why would they bother putting two different bomb gloves in this game? Because they just wanted to make a better bomb glove. Fair enough. And, but they also They wanted... couldn't just improve the actual bomb glove, though? No, clearly not. They gave it you the mini nuke right away anyway. It's not yeah. like it was expensive. The, 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 in the same way they gave a heavy lancer when you already had the blaster from the first game. I don't think you do have a blaster from this game, though. But the first game had a weapon called the blast. Yeah, but then it didn't port it over because you had one already. <laughs> so why'd they port over the fucking bomb glove? I don't know, just to prove just how much better the guns are in this game. Maybe, maybe. Fucking insomniac, dude. Insomniac recently has shot to the top of one of my favorite game companies. Uh, is this game the reason? Or this series the reason? Uh, partially. The other reason is they also made the PS4 Spider-Man game. Oh, interesting. Yeah. And now they're working on the new... Uh, they're mean, working on making another Ratchet and Clank. For obvious reasons, I have not played that. The PS4 Spider-Man one? It's good though, it's very good. I'm sure you've heard good things about it at least. Because it is worthy of said good things. I'd go back to the mini nuke personally. But there's only one mini nuke left. Yeah, but it hardly matters as long as you hit him with it. I think that was a hit. Let's see what else. We can get close and blitz. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do before, but I think he moves too much. See? You can do it if you're if you're cheeky about it, but you gotta. I, I think you gotta shoot earlier than that because he, he jumps when you get to him in a distance of him. See? Yeah, you're still waiting too long. There you go. I was just waiting for him to let me get to him because there's. But he won't. That's the thing. There are sometimes that he will let me get close, and there are sometimes where he. Oh. Well, your max nano technique increased, so it killed everything around you. Okay, there we go. And that is how it's done. Nice. Apparently so. You won 75 50 bullets. Um, I think we're just done, right? Hit X, hold on. I want to see what there is. Don't oh take yeah, it. no, fuck the fuck special challenges. Hazard cage match, look up below. Time challenge, come back to this. Maybe we'll come back to this. Yeah, we we're not doing this. This ain't happening. See ya. Yeah, bye, bitch. Oh, you actually have to use the infiltrator. <laughs> Right away. <laughs> they immediately fuck you. That's hilarious. Use the path to the green circuit. Wait, what? I understand it. Oh, it's a maze. Yes. Okay. Easy enough to understand. Yeah. It's just a really weird spherical maze. Yeah. I mean, whatever. Yeah. You know what I hate? What? Big clank. I don't know. It just bugs me. It's like the evil version of Big Chungus. <laughs> 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 I think Big Chungus is already the evil version of Big Chungus. No, but Jig Big Chungus was the neutral evil version, but Big Clank was like the chaotic evil version. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> we need a big alignment chart. Alignment chart of things that are big. Um, let's see. Big Snake is probably like uh, neutral good. Or chaotic good. Big Snake! From uh, yes. Night in the Woods playthrough. Okay, I'll take your word for it. It was a very funny thing. This charming Russian guy, uh, you take a you take some time to look at the stars with him. 
look at constellations, and he tells you about the constellations, and one of them you find is just Big Snake, and it has no meaning. It's just Big Snake. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing for him to explain. That's funny. It's just a Big Snake. <laughs> big Snake. And we were all voicing the characters, and I was doing him because I like doing the Russian accent, so I was like, Big Snake! Big Snake. <laughs> all right, let's see. Uh, what other big things are there? Very enjoyable experience, nonetheless. You want me to take over for a bit? All right. Well, I mean, it's your turn, because we're switching on oh, planets, right, too, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we need to go to the Explore the Desert planet. Um, what's, what else do we do? I don't know. We got big targets. Big Clank. Big Snake. Um, I know there's... We have Big the Cat. Big the Cat. Oh. I don't know. I feel like Big the Cat is definitely somewhere in the evil variety. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if anything's chaotic evil, it's him. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can have multiple chaotic evils, right? <laughs> yeah, it's like you have multiple deities. Why can't I... Because, like, we could move... Why can't I we do could... the thing? How do you... How do you do the how do you do the, the sprint thing? I forget. I thought it was it's double the, tap. It's one of the shoulder buttons. I thought it was double tap R one. Oh, Did I just we realized. Yep. Uh, you have to fucking switch it. God damn it! It's not just. An it's not even thing. worth it. That thing's just a waste of space in my inventory now. Because I because that isn't required while well, this is. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck you, game. Give me something cool and then say you can't use it. <laughs> oh no. Mining. Why? Oh my god, you just have to explore the desert even more. Fuck. Let's see if I can do something that will just fix the problem. Oh my god, it controls horribly, too. What is this garbage? Oh my god. Oh my god, why? Why? Why have you done this? Wait, hang on, there was another- there was another planet that had a- that had a wall you could walk up. Yeah, I'm, I sure hope this isn't the objective. It's not. I, it can't be. It's for ship upgrades. Yeah. We don't use ship upgrades. Yeah. At least not yet. Shut up. <laughs> don't tempt them. You know they'll do it. I swear there was another this planet you could walk up the wall. Made, bro. Uh, that one looks like that is an area. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. That lighter gray area looks like it. This also looks like it is. Hang on, let's go back to missions again. There are no missions on that planet. Oh my god. Repair the power drain. Yeah, that's the one we can't do because we don't have the thing yet. Yeah. We won't be able to get any information from it until it gets powered up again. The maintenance robot looks like looks a little unreliable. Better follow him. Alright, what do we need to... Because we have two new Wait, things. Wait, maybe we needed the... I think we needed the boost gloves for that. Yeah. Hang on, I think we oh, needed might the... Might as well which get we that have. crystal, because we're going to forget it later. We want to get all the crystals. Can I just slam into it? We're not going to get all the crystals. I want to see if I can just ramp into it, too. How do I just get out of this thing? How do I just say fuck this thing and be done with it? Can I just go up here? How the fuck do I get out of this thing? No escape. No! No escape. No! You just have to get all the rarities. Oh, there it is. I was hoping not. No. I knew it. I knew you didn't have to do it, because I never did it before. Pretty sure, anyway. So I think, actually, we didn't... I think we actually did need the boost... The boost boots. Okay. Instead of the magnet ones. To do the thing where you gotta cha chase the dude. Right. Right? I'm hoping. I hope so too, because I don't want to have to do with anything else. That's not the button I meant to press. <laughs> He's just like, wait, why did we get out of the ship? I don't know. I can relate to that. <laughs> maybe, maybe when you walk into a kitchen and you don't know why you're there, maybe that's because the player who's playing you 
accidentally pressed the wrong input. No, maybe your <laughs> maybe it's just that your brain is just buffering. <laughs> yeah, it honestly is that. Repair the power generator. This is what we're doing. Okay, so hopefully we can do this with just the boots. I don't I I feel like I'm wrong. We might be wrong, but it's worth It's this. worth a try. It's worth taking a shot. Because I don't know what else the f what 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 the fuck else we do. Yeah, really. Ooh. I'll go to the walkthrough if I have to, but I don't think we've had to do it for this game yet. Mm -hmm. Um, I remember it was one of these things that brought us there. Yes. Yes, this is where we were. So, the question is, can I just equip the charge boots and then walk down? No, it's, uh, this. Right? Aw, oh, fuck. I, think, I can't I believe think you've done I think we're wrong. I can't believe you've done I think I'm wrong. Ah, oh, fuck. Get, just, just get end, crushed. Just me. No! It won't even kill me! Oh, I don't want to play this right now. <laughs> I don't want to deal with this shit anymore. I gotta get the... Now I gotta get the fucking thing out again. Uh... The dynamo, of all things. What gameplay does this actually have that you have to shoot the nodes to make the platforms appear? It's like auto-targeting, too. Does this actually add anything to the gameplay? Hardly. I don't think it does. Let's just talk to him and see what he wants. We can't. See? Okay. I think we gotta, we gotta do whatever this is, but we don't have this yet. Where the fuck do we get that? Well, are you sure you did the charge boots right? Yeah, I did. That was definitely the charge boots. And I'm not going to do it again, because I don't want to have to climb up here again. <laughs> that was the charge boots, though. Um, okay, hold on to this for a minute. I'm going to Google it. Alright, because I, I, I'm sure maybe, like, the... Do anything. Magnet. Literally anything. <laughs> maybe, like, the magnet works were the magnet boots we needed to get up there. Right now, I'm gonna be waiting on a call from that thing I told you about earlier before we start. This. Person who wants me for tech help. Motherfucker. And blank. I didn't do this intentional, but I just realized that I just said motherfucker and blank. Walk through. I didn't clank. This is go in commando. Go in commando. Walk through. Is there a way to buy health? Um, no. What if we just enter our ship and get out? Will that refuel us? I don't think so, but you can try it. Walk through. Because I took one point of damage. No, it doesn't do this. Oh my god. Why is this arranged this way? Because fuck you, that's cool. Where, okay, what's the name of the place? What's the name of the place you're currently in? Dobo. Dobo. Dabo. Who names their planet Dabo? Bunch of idiots. It's clearly something that's supposed to let us get down. Yeah, it's an item we don't have. I already know that. Well, I'm gonna try. I like how this fucking guide tells you how the fuck to, like, which weapons to use against enemies. Um, well, I'm, I've already gotten this one. I know, like, like, no. Also, 
it doesn't fucking have the planets in order. Uh. So fuck you, IGN. I'm going to GameSpot. Once again, proving that IGN sucks. Yeah. Their walkthroughs are usually pretty good. It's just this one just isn't fucking in order. I mean, I managed to get to the platform you said I couldn't get on. What? No, but that's where we were before. Oh, really? Yeah, that's not the issue. The issue is we need to follow the robot wherever he's going, but he's which not involves going flying, which he's, but he's not going anywhere because we don't have the thing we need. Wow. And we can't do the flying. I don't know where we're supposed to go, but presumably you need to do the flying thing to even know where you're going. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Hi, the fuck? Jump the table of contents. Why does this walkthrough end on the planet we're currently on? <laughs> of course. There is currently no text to this page. Because nobody figured out how to get past this area. Well, I guess I guess we're done. <laughs> yep, this is it. This is the end of Ratchet and Clank 2. Yep. End of the game right here. Are you fucking kidding me? Where are all the where are all the fucking walkthroughs? Oh my god. Maybe we're just overthinking it and we have to travel back. See, because, look at the map. Didn't we start down near the bottom there? I don't think so. I think we did. Where are you now? We're at the top. I then think we must have. I think we just need to travel back to the starting area. And get to these new I think areas. we have to, I think we need to use whatever item this new item is to fly through this area and then further into the next area. You know but you're welcome to try while I look through the walkthrough. Now let's just make a safety save so we don't have to travel back. Fair enough. How do you I'm pretty uh, sure you do it. Uh, uh it's in options. Okay. I'm pretty sure the uh the save when you save and reload you just get put at your uh at your ship anyway. Oh well. But it's fine. Then it'll be important to safety save regardless. So, alright, we've got our safety save. While you look that up, I'm gonna be going Doing ham. That. Yeah, have fun, man. Chasing the dream here. Dabo. Right, so. See, it says you must now glide using the glider to the power generator room. We don't have the glider. Okay, the glider. We're actually playing glider. Oh my fucking god. This page just says, The Momentum Glider, also known simply as the Glider, is an item in Going Commando. It can be activated at specific red launch pads, at which Ratchet can deploy the device and glide to reach areas only accessible in flight. In Tools of Destruction, blah blah blah, that's a later game. Nothing else. No other information on this well, entire fucking page. All right, so this is the wiki! So we need to find a glider, but don't know how to... Get it. it doesn't tell us where it is. Where the fuck do you? Oh my god! None of these pages fucking tell you where it is. I got it. It's in the. It's in the desert. Oh, uh, we actually had to explore the desert. Yeah. But... You... Oh... It's in the mining area. Wait, maybe I'm wrong, hang on. Wait. 
It's the planet is called Tabora, which I believe is the one. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, so check that one. Figure out where Tabora is, and it's apparently there in the mining area. Yeah, I think it's the desert. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So it's somewhere there. It has to be. Well. Do you want me to handle this? I kind of want to. Sure. I kind of want to deal with this shit. Okay. Because I think I know how to efficiently move through this desert, so I just want to sit about. Yeah. I have a feeling it's like on the complete opposite fucking end because it's the opposite end is pretty much like. There's, there's not very many places we haven't been, other than that big gray area. So I'm thinking, fuck you, game, for making me do this. Uh, not that. This. Wait, that was not right. Fuck you, game. Wow, okay. I see how it is. She's gonna glitch me off the ledge. So, it has to be something to do with this, right? Yeah. I don't think we have to drill things up. I doubt it. I'll try it if that ends up being the case. But for now, I'm just gonna zip through this place and hope that I see something that looks different. Okay. That's fair. Like... Tell me if you see anything that looks different from the rest of this stuff. Alright. Because otherwise, my only idea is to drill literally fucking everything up. There is the oasis. I guess the oasis does look different. Let's check it out. But I think we've been here. That's true. Yeah. Maybe it's just like a, on your fifth uh, Raritania mine. You just find it? You just find it. I, I somehow missed it. Piece of shit game. Like instead of getting the rare game, you just get the thing. I hope not. I don't want to have to fucking mine a rare titanium. It's a waste of my time. I mean, clearly, the game doesn't think it's a waste of your time. Yeah, well, the game is wrong. Always has been. Fuck. Like, no part of this right here is fun. Yeah, it's literally just busy. It's just zip around the desert, waiting until something fucking shows up to do, and then hold square. You know, maybe this just fucking is what he wants me to do. I'm thinking there might be something about the canyon. There was a can there's a canyon yeah, area that's there's... slightly different. So I'm thinking maybe if I bring this thing near the canyon, it'll kill me. And I can stop suffering. I mean, you're not wrong. I was hoping it would do something, but it did not. Well this like Oh, it actually automatically equipped that time. I okay, guess that's just we, what it was supposed I mean, to do. Never it. I'm talking about the, the grab boost. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't yeah, but I was using the dash. Um, so I guess it automatically switches. Um, that would be I don't know why it didn't the first time. but Maybe we didn't think to try. Try what? It's automatic. That's the that's the thing. That's what I'm saying. No, like we, we didn't try to go up it without... I did. I did try to go up it. Huh. I was the one controlling it, and I said I was like... Fuck this, it's gonna make me actually equip the shit. Because I tried. Because I assumed that this game would be reasonable and let you walk up the hill. And then it didn't. But, no, but then it did. But no, obviously you can't equip two different sets of boots at the same time. It's that not like, would be unrealistic. It's not like you have two feeders on <laughs> Like you put one of the grab boots on one foot and the zipper on the other foot. So that you never really get the chance to do either. This one thing has limited it. fucking health. And it's low too. It's a low amount of health. 
Yeah. Why? There, there has to be something else. There has to be something else. There's no way in hell the game wants me to mine this entire fucking desert. There's no way. Are you sure about that? Yeah, pretty sure. I mean, that's true. This is gonna kill my OCD if I don't. I have a fast way to travel now. So I'm just gonna do it. And here we are. That's a bad one for this. Pretty much all guns are bad guns for this. What if we used to kill this thing last time? I think, um, the stars. Not sure yeah, it's probably gonna be. I think we, I'm pretty sure we used to shoot. That's all the things I've seen. There has to be something else. There has to be. There's no fucking way. I am mining this entire fucking desert. There's no way. You're tricking me into walking through this entire desert twice. I'm just gonna die. It's fine, I respawn at the fucking start. It's fine, I respawn here. That's where I wanna be anyway. Fuck you, game. I, I swear to god. There has to be something Explore I can do. Explore the desert. Yeah, man. Just explore the area. How hard is that? <laughs> it's not like it's the biggest area we've seen so far. In any of these games. Pretty sure it's bigger than most of the uh, later games, too. This was bad. This was a badly designed thing. This we was don't even know what we're looking for. We don't even know if this is what we're supposed to be doing. We don't know. We know literally nothing. We have no idea what we're looking for. We don't know what we're doing at all. We know we need a glider, we just don't know where it is. And we know it's here. And this is the only objective. And we know it's somewhere on this fucking planet. I want it to be like you try to mine up one of the rare teams. And it's just a fucking bomb, and it blows you up. <laughs> <laughs> I would not put it past this fucking game. <laughs> Instead of the being the rare team. I think the worst thing that could possibly happen <laughs> could be that if I mine all these rare titaniums, the fucking thing just shows up. Oh, no. It like, not be all of them. Or like, or, like, if it's just one of the fucking ones in this group. And you don't know which one it is. Yeah. Who fucking knows? I don't care, man. Blow me up. Let's see if I give a shit. <laughs> see if I fucking care. See if I care. You will see that I do not. If I die, I'm just handing this back to you and looking at a video walkthrough. Behold my garden of fucks. See how it is barren and wilted. <laughs> a garden of fucks is a field of crap. Dude. <laughs> I guess we're doing this now. Dude. Dude. Oh, sorry. I was hitting the fire button from one of the later games. <laughs> There's two of these fucks, by the way. It's just... That's just what we're dealing with. Also, I still can't really, like, look up to actually play this game in a reasonable way. Because it's like a third-person shooter, but with the controls of a platformer. Yeah, because the first game was just a platformer that had guns. Mm -hmm. Now it's a third-person shooter that's using the same controls as a platformer. Mm -hmm. And it'll get progressively farther from platformer and closer to shooter every game from now on. What? Did it just blink you into the ship only for it to blow up? Is that what happened? Yeah. That's what the what, fuck? That's what happened. You take this shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to a video walkthrough. I don't give a shit. Fuck professionalism. What professionalism? We're not even doing this for money. 
Not yet. <laughs> oh my gosh, this audio quality is shit. Listen to this. I'm hearing it. <laughs> like, what is going on? Please tell me that's not my phone. Oh my god. <laughs> this entire walkthrough is ear rape. <laughs> it's ten and a half minutes of <laughs> ear rape. This is the part we already saw where we beat up the lady. This is the part where he's finding shit. Wait, where the fuck is this? Where is this? Open up the map for me. Move down. It's literally a question mark on the map. Oh my god. It was really There's also a very obvious path to it. It was really that easy. <laughs> it was really that easy. <laughs> Alright. I don't know I how guess, we didn't see that. I guess the joke is on us. Yeah, this time it's actually on us. We we just we this Fuck time. this game though, still. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Right. I'm holding to that. Fair counterplay game. Fair <laughs> counterplay. There's like, so I'm watching the video and he's just, I just see him like going into a tunnel and I'm like, where the fuck is that tunnel? I fucking scoured this whole desert. It's not on the map. And then I just like looked at where he was and realized he was right next to one of these buildings. And I was like, Jacob, look at the map. <laughs> it was really that easy. And the rest is history. You know what happened after that. <laughs> It really was right there. Still fuck this game though. <laughs> we were just so convinced that the explore the area had something to do with the fucking new thing we got. Yeah. Because that would make sense. Well no, you literally just need to go to this place and you need to use thermite. You just need to fuck off in a random direction. Alright. Good luck. I wish I wasn't alive. Where's the thermite? Would you like a cookie? Sure. I very much enjoy those uh, fudge cookies. These cookies are the shit. They really are. I'm gonna try and put those vaguely far away from me so that I don't eat all of them, but... We shall see. <laughs> I really want to Uh, yes. Physics. <laughs> now we're not talking at all. Because <laughs> we're eating. <laughs> we're eating fucking cookies. Sorry, guys. Sorry, viewers. Of which there are two. Excuse us for the moment. Yeah, and one of them fucked off just now. Yeah. Ten seconds of no commentary? <laughs> I must leave. Alright, how do I freeze this? You have to you have to stand on one of the things to make it stop um, you, you need to stand on one of the things to make it go up and then freeze it. Oh, this goes up. Yeah. I totally didn't see that. It's like a seesaw. I did not see that. Like, no. That's how you do it. Aha! I figured something out. Yeah. It feels slightly less more like a moron. Moron. Apply directly to the lives. <laughs> Better get a fucking good ass up <laughs> Yeah, seriously. Because this is doing nothing to anything but the weakest of the weak. Can you go back to the weapon wheel for a second? I just want to see something. Yeah, the tracer bomb also needs to upgrade. I was just wondering. And also the, of course, the fucking robot voice. And stuff like it doesn't matter. I was just wondering. I was, I was just looking. Oh, uh, does this? I don't think this actually upgrades. Because the Tesla claw was from the first game. You're right. 
It just has a full bar already, just to tr fucking trip it. We've been using it this whole time, thinking it was almost ready to upgrade. God. So the only thing you should be using is the synthenoids and these tracing shock things. But I don't want to use the fucking tracing bombs. <laughs> yeah, the tracing bombs suck dick. <laughs> and also, we only have three of them anyway, so just launch three of them and then... Just find enemies, launch three of them, and then use whatever the fuck you want. Hmm. Hopefully this does something. It's gonna make, a uh, jump walls. See? Okay. Aha! That's kind of neat design. Turning that visual thing into something that actually works gameplay-wise, that's kind of neat. We're gonna get fucking roasted. <laughs> By who? Your viewers? <laughs> the two viewers. They're gonna fucking roast us yeah. for not being able to find this stupid piece of shit glider. Press X to launch the glider. Press X to continue game. I'm hope I was hoping you just died <laughs> into the fucking lava and died. <laughs> That'd be very funny. Whoa, like, whoa, whoa! <laughs> what was that? It was just like, yep, time to die. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I was really hoping. <laughs> Did it tell you any controls? No. It's just like, regular ass gliding controls. Yeah, just like, your typical inverted controls. Also, there's clearly a momentum thing going on. Yeah, which you're just not utilizing. No, like, if I try to go up, I lose momentum. Yeah, but you could go down and move faster, but right now you're just kind of, like, going super fucking slow. Okay, I guess I caught some sort of draft here. Well, you started to plummet because you went up, and then you, uh... pulled up, which yeah. caused you to gain speed. Oh, look, a pull. What the fuck? Something about that sound, the sound that made, and the ha amount of times you spun it really, really yeah, gave was, me something. Yeah, it was just a little uncanny. <laughs> yeah, it was just a little weird. Alright, we're done here. Can we put in, God damn it! can we put in the uh, Revolver Ocelot thing? Thanks. Or no, just like, play the clip back to back Shit. of him spinning it. And Shit, I meant to write down time cut, time, time stamps for these. In case I needed to do edits so they'd be easier to find. Right. Now I have to watch the whole fucking right, video well, let's again. Let's start with this one. 108. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna say it right here. What I want is just for you to play the clip of him spinning the bolt and just play it three times in a row. Just to make <laughs> it really uncanny. <laughs> That's all I want. Fair enough. I'm gonna write down timestamps for this. I know for a fact that 108. I think it was like 36 or something. Okay, now we've got a fuck ton of money because we traded in 24 crystals. So now we can afford a gun or two. Nice. I would recommend getting the turret thing because the turret thing's kind of neat. It's on the far left. We already have this. Mini turret thing gun. is one the with the yeah. mini turret glove. Yeah, that thing is a sniper rifle, which and in it this sucks. game, which in this, well, it does good damage, but it's a sniper rifle. Yeah. In a game with a lot of mobility. Yeah, like. So it's inherently just not right, very. Well, good. let's buy the mini turret glove and see what we got here. Yeah. 
That one I like because it's just another thing that spawns shit. <laughs> Which is really funny. You already have it equipped. <laughs> That's a turn. <laughs> Alright then. Yep. And if you want to buy something else too, that's fine. I'm sure there's something else useful in that list of things. So yeah. I don't know when the hell that first edit was. But it's I'm just before, gonna write before before now. Yeah, it was before now, that's for sure. First edit question mark. Do you remember what it was I asked for? No. Fuck. Well, it was pretty fuck me. I have to watch another hour of footage. <laughs> Add that onto my list. It's fine. I'm sure, I think it was early on anyway, so it should be easy to find. One thing that I did notice about this game is that it no longer has the vendor. It was the Law and Order thing. Oh yeah. Dun dun. Law and Order. I said lawn in order. <laughs> <laughs> lawn order. <laughs> lawn in order. <laughs> Lawns, but you better put your lawns in order. And it was when we get the that other glider. The The we got the yeah. It was right before we entered the games. Yeah. Because that's when we got it. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure to write down timestamps if we have any more edits, but hopefully we won't. <laughs> right. I really should be doing that anyway. Yeah, I mean, I... Like, in general, when we do yeah. Let's Plays, I should be writing down the timestamps of edits. Well, luckily, it didn't... That first edit didn't come in too early. Yeah, that one wasn't too bad. Destroy this mean combat chat. <laughs> what did you do? I just hit a wall immediately. <laughs> I didn't know where the hell I was going, and this thing is really touchy, actually. Alright. Which I did not know until it was too late. <laughs> I just had to figure out how much it turned when I pressed the thing. Now I'm aware. Yeah, see? Now I can, now I can do fine. Alright, we got this. <laughs> that took a Fox! <laughs> Sorry. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> I miss those games. So long, Fox McLean. You're like Farmer. the only one of my friends who actually knows or cares about Star Fox at all. Yeah, or whatever Andros says when Fox dies. Star Fox event. Yeah, whatever that was. <laughs> because I know for a fact that if you die during the final boss in Star Fox... Fuck. If, if, if you die in the final level in Star Fox Adventures, then Andros fucking taunts you for dying. Yeah. I, I believe it. It's been a while since I played it, but I believe it. I remember that because I got so fucking pissed off as a kid because I didn't know how to beat the final boss. Nice. <laughs> I still do think that we should... Uh, not you and me specifically, because the two of us have already played it. I think it'd be better if it was me and somebody who hasn't played it yet. Play all of the Star Fox games. Oh, somebody's gonna hate having to go through Star Fox adventures. Okay, so the thing with this thing is, because right, I'm as soon as you turn, you have to fucking reorient yourself. And when it immediately makes you go down, I don't have time to reorient myself. Which means if I don't get the turn right on the first go, I just fucking die. Yeah. Sorry, so what were you saying? Because, like... I would be fine replaying Star Fox Adventures because I know all of the <laughs> secrets. Yeah. And how to get through the game's BS. Yeah. But, like, somebody else <laughs> definitely would not. That's why it needs to be somebody else, though. <laughs> <laughs> because the not being fine part is the fun part of it. Because it's basically. That's why I wanted to play this with you specifically because I know you didn't know anything about it. Yeah, because, like, the first time I played, um,. Uh, through that game, I was like eight, and I had a complete <laughs> guide with me. Yeah. Do you have a, like a paper guide? Yeah, it was like. Oh, I never bought those, but that's really neat. That's okay. real old fashioned. I had a couple of those like paper guides for the games or back in the day when they still sold them. Yeah. I think they still do, but it's not as common. 
I think I just did the classic little kid thing of play a game like a fucking idiot until you figure it out. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think I ever bought it. I think it came with the game, because Star Fox Adventures, I don't think, would be one of those... Did we just magnetize to this? Yeah. Also, the sound just immediately died the instant we got here. That's a little unfair. And look, it's the other thing we <laughs> Great. Oh, wait, no, that was this thing. Yeah. We've seen this thing before. But I think as I was saying, yeah. the first time I put, I, I think I, my parents got me a special oh, edition of mm -hmm. the GameCube because it came with Star Fox Adventures and the guide. What a weird game to package with your GameCube. Yeah, but it came pre-packaged, so obviously I knew, Shit. so obviously I knew all of the tricks to get through. Yeah. And I didn't really think twice about the game being really obtuse and shit. And, and all, like, how weirdly concealed all of the game's secrets were. Yeah. But, and not just, like, optional stuff. Like, required yeah. stuff is fucking concealed. But here's the, here's the thing. The last, like, two pages of oh. that guide were ripped out. Woo! And that was the one concealed like, covering how to beat the final boss. Wow. So I'm like, oh, I don't know how to beat the final boss. And I couldn't finish the game. Why am I here? So then, fast forward, like, eight years, mm -hmm. and I pick the game back up. And I'm like, you know what? This is just gonna bug me if I never beat this game. Let's get the good to that experiment. So I eventually did what? go back. No way. I think I, think I, think I see the problem. problem. What? what? Now even the, the computers are charging us? <laughs> That's it. This is galaxy blows. blows. <laughs> At least the game technicians are reporting on Megacorp experiment number 13. This update is strictly classified. If you are watching this, you're fired. Early thinking held that the specimen was entirely docile in nature. Even over a provocation failed to incite it. But the late Dr. Putrid son observed that natural levels of monster protomase in the experiment bloodstream were triggering some remarkable changes. Attempts at neutralizing the specimen's violent tendencies were met with limited success. Our surviving staff recommend that the experiment be destroyed immediately at Megacorp's deep space disposal facility. The computer's log indicates that we were the first to view that recording. So this was you must not know. We've got, got to warn him. him. Mr. Fizzwich, you're, you're safe. safe! Sir, brace, brace yourself. We just saw a video of your experiment eating its handlers. I repeat, it eats its handlers. Ah, yes, handlers. Uh, uh, handlers. Uh, uh, Mr. Fizzwich, do you copy? Anyone handling the experiment must exercise utmost caution. No, no, no. Decapitate. What? What? Oh, yes, yes, yes. What? Also, well, why are we going to the disposal facility? I don't know. We're supposed to meet him there because he's gonna destroy the thing. I don't Did know. Did he say he was gonna destroy the thing? No. But okay. hopefully he brings it so we can destroy it. Like, Jesus. Like, damn. This is. Like I said, this game just has a bunch of levels and no real understanding <laughs> of how to connect them. That is kind of true. This is what I'm talking about. Um. So my, my experience with Star Fox was, I played... But yeah, at 16 I did eventually beat it, yeah. but because I lost the guide, I had to get through the game without a guide, and only relying on my memory the without password. the game. And even then, there were still some weird moments. I can't imagine trying to do it without a um, You better check that code. I am sure was correct. The defenses are attacking us. We've got to hold them off until Fizzwood gets here. Password didn't work. Oh, it's one of these fucking levels. 
No, that's why we can't Here's if you want it. No, you're holding the control. Technically, I just completed the level, but... <laughs> Fine. I'll play the stupid level for once. It looks like Sector Z or whatever. Oh, well. But, uh... Um... Yeah, I can't imagine anyone trying to get through stuff on... <laughs> it's fine. I can't, I can't imagine anyone trying to get through that game without a gun. Okay. Alright. I'm assuming we have to destroy these things. I mean, they're taking damage and they're shooting Yeah, it just kind of like... It just kind of like started me facing one and I was like, well, I guess this is what I'm doing then. Um... I fucking hate this, these levels. Um, my experience with Star Fox as a series um, was that I played 64 when I was a kid, because my dad had it on the, the N64. Um, and then for most of my life I was not aware that any other Star Fox games existed at all. <laughs> and then I was like, I really like Star Fox. And then I like Googled it one day and was like, oh, other games exist. <laughs> and then I played a large portion of them. Um, shortly, It was shortly after the release of uh, Command, actually, that I played like all the other ones. Oh, really? Yeah. And then I got to Command and hated it, so I never finished it. Yeah, Command was definitely one of those two out of five games. I played through all of it, though. I wouldn't exactly say it was a great game, but it certainly was. Oh, fuck, I'm actually this It was certainly a thought provoking game. Command? Yeah. I did not like Command at all. Well, I mean, that's because you probably didn't give it enough time. Like, eventually, if you take the time to figure out what the fuck is going on. I played the first level and pretty solidly decided I didn't like it. Like, I didn't like the first level because I had no idea how to play. Yeah. But then I got through the first level and like, alright, this is, a, this is a, not a terrible experience. Once you figure out what you're supposed to be doing. Also, the multiple endings. The entire appeal of multiple endings is the ability to have your choices matter. And then the game only lets you get one ending on the first play. I mean, I bought a used copy so it let me unlock them, but I just chose to get the default. So maybe that's on. I mean, if you choose to get choosing to get the default ending is perfectly fine. That's not that's not my issue. Because it's the fact that you have to. It's not a choice. I mean, I'm assuming it's not a choice because what I hate. it didn't give me any choices when I played a couple. I, I think I beat the first level and was looking through and it was like, here's the choices and they were all blocked off except for one. It's like you got to do this one. Like fuck you. Because what. My experience was was I got to the end of the first level and they were all blocked off, but then I just clicked A on one of them and it fucking unlocked the What? That's odd. So there are like locks above them, but if you click A It doesn't mean anything. But if you click A the lock just unlocks. So I'm assuming the only reason that it unlocked was because I had a used copy. But maybe Perhaps. it's just saying like, oh they're locked because we want to recommend that you take the default path. Fuck that. Even though there's nothing saying that that's what's going on. It's dumb as hell. I'm assuming that one of those two options is true. Either they're actually locked on your first playthrough, or they're just obtusely recommending you take the default path. Because Upper some... turret repaired! Oh, fuck. I think you have to destroy the repair path. Where is the repair bot, though? I think there were... There were some... I haven't seen anything but these stupid fucking turrets this whole time. Alright, try pumping guarding the turret. Okay, then we'll see what happens. Dispatching repair bot. It dispatches it once the turret is out. Yeah, Where the fuck so is the... Pumping guard there. Where the fuck is it? I don't see no repair bot. I think that was it. That little blue string, I think. I can't. This is shit. Fuck 
stop. Hopefully it doesn't establish another I think it will. I'm turning back just to check. No? Okay. Better if it establishes another repair bot, I am not doing this. <laughs> yeah, that would be actually shit. Um, Plus wait. my shields don't fucking come back for some reason. Oh, you piece of shit. It was prepared. So do we have to just constantly go back to these things? Maybe. Where the fuck is the repair bot? It's right there, I can see it. What? Oh, jeez. I think there might be two. I'm just not seeing the other one for some reason. Does that one stay there? Dispatching another fucking repair bot. Why doesn't my shields come back? Also, I don't even care. I don't, I don't fucking care. I didn't make any progress anyway since the game fucking repairs the things. So what does it fucking matter? Ship upgrades are available at Slim Gomito's ship shack. Select the location and collect it now. Are you Maybe mean? we just need that. Maybe we just do need that. What the fuck do we even need that? Is there an upgrade that makes me not have to play the shit levels? Because I'll buy that. Maybe. You could sell that to me for 60 real dollars, I'd fucking buy that. <laughs> No, maybe not. There's a speed up button. Maybe the strategy should be to make them all, like, really damaged. And then blow them all up and put six in. Yeah. It would be shit if that was what I I guess it would be Well, it's better than dealing with the fucking repair bots every five seconds. Having to turn back to them. So why is it that when your shields are damaged, it flashes? I don't know. I noticed that too. Glad I'm not the only one. Yeah, that's like the most antithetical code that's damaged the game. Yes. Wow. Why don't they just fucking die? Why did you put this in this game? It's not fun! Why won't they fucking die? And why do I have separate shields from my health if the shields don't fucking regenerate? I think there are some ways to get shields back, but not in this level. Maybe like destroying the space jump would be shields. That does seem to be a definite possibility. I haven't gotten a notification that they've sent out repair bots yet. Yeah. Hopefully they just blow up that fast. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking if I can just eliminate these as fast as possible, we can just do it. There, there's zero active turrets. What do you want from me? That did not cost What is the concept of Davis this way? Megacorp keeps you warm, keeps you healthy, and now keeps you safe. Hello, I'm Abercrombie Fizzwidget, and I'd like to welcome you to the new Megacorp Weapons Facility. We offer guided tours to show you how our weapons are made. Our highly trained experts spend their day creating the latest heavy-duty weaponry to protect you and your whole family. So stop by today and bring the kids. Our tours are both informative and fun. 
<laughs> I knew it was happening. I knew it was coming. I knew it. I knew that fucking. As soon as I saw the balloon, I was like, I specifically remember this joke. That balloon is gonna explode. <laughs> I had to try really hard not to immediately laugh just seeing it, knowing it was coming. <laughs> Mega Corp Armory. Alright, we're, we're getting Yeah, fuck this. Okay, it seems like Mr. Fizzwitch is probably just sending us pre-recorded messages. What were we saying before this? I feel like I, I feel like we just completely went... Something about Star Fox. It had to be. Or it was about bad game design, because that's what we were dealing with. Oh, yeah. Do you want to play this now? Sure. Okay. I played a level and a stupid shit level, so... Can I, like, kill these guys? Yes, I can. I'm killing random citizens. Well, this is a guided tour. What? Alien squirrels! This is some really dramatic music for a guided tour and some alien squirrels. Yeah. I mean, I'm... Like, no joke, this song's actually kind of a banger. <laughs> I'm expecting it to get a lot more intense later on. This song actually kind of rocks. Yeah. It's very, like, secret agent, you know? Yeah. I think that was the intention. Yeah. I like it. Sorry for gross sounds. Well, give me one if you're gonna give yourself. Yep. That's why I took two out. I'm trying not to eat any muscle, but I need one after that. <laughs> Stupid fucking plane mission. But going back to the topic of Star Fox, I do want to do a let's play of Star Fox because I feel like if you just if you only do like the what I'm going to call the canon Star Foxes, which I realize is not like an official term, but what I mean is basically 64 through Taman, because 1 and 2 kind of just get remade in 64 anyway, yeah. and 0 is also just a remake of 64. It's almost like they realized 64 was the one good one. <laughs> but anyway, um, I think that doing 64 through uh, command <laughs> would be really good because 64 can be beaten in an hour and it's just a genuinely fun game. Yeah. Adventures is it's, a decent game as far as gameplay goes, but absolute horseshit in almost every other way. <laughs> like story, graphics, okay. voice acting. The story was not horrible. But it was not that great. Either. It just didn't have anything to do with Star Fox. Yeah, I will say it was definitely a non sequitur as far as story goes. Mm -hmm. It's so, like, why are we doing this? I don't know. So that one just has a lot of potential entertainment value. And then Assault is also pretty okay. The controls are a little iffy for my taste, but it's not bad. Yeah, I mean, I enjoyed Assault. Yeah. Um... I, I actually enjoyed a lot of the levels in that game. Yeah, Alan's yeah. actually a pretty decent game. Uh, Assault is one of my like guilty pleasures. Yeah, agreed. And then Command is a game that I hate vehemently, and if we had to play it on stream, it would be very funny to watch me rage at it, because I fucking hate that game. Yeah, I, I will say, you do have to like know how to play the game, and the game gives mm -hmm. you no directions on how yeah. to learn. It's just like, oh, you didn't stop this obvious thing within two turns. Die. You <laughs> lose in the first level. The fact that the word turns even comes up when talking about the game's gameplay is the reason I don't like it. <laughs> Understandable. Like, the thing is that most of the game is you have, like, a set number of turns to win, but yeah. you can push that clock back by completing the, uh, sort of base raids mm -hmm. where you like beat up a one of the mother aliens and get one of the major cores and get one getting one of the major cores gives you an extra turn yeah i just don't like the turn but 
I'd be willing to play it for a stream because I think that me not liking it would be funny. <laughs> yeah. And like I said, I got all the endings. I didn't really think it was anything to write home about. I, I okay. basically played through the whole thing while on a vacation in um, New Hampshire. You know what I should do is I should get a cracked version of it that lets me just make all the choices from the start. I mean, I have a copy that you could use. Yeah, but if we're going to do it on stream, it has to be emulated. I understand. Uh, what is this? And I'm honestly not willing to edit it. <laughs> stream it? Sure. Edit it? Uh, that That's pushing it for me. <laughs> it's a game I already don't want to see that much of. Uh, my hatred for Command has become a bit of a meme amongst, like, me, Nathan, and Justin. Oh, yeah. So. I mean, I didn't think, I did not think it was horrible. I believe it or not. <laughs> but that's a personal preference. Eas easily a two out of, t a two out of five game. <laughs> but I didn't think it was horrible. It was eminently playable. I think if a game is playable, but it doesn't really do anything super good, it's a two out of five. Sure. Like, yeah, you can play it, but you're not going to get anything out of it. Uh, you got to use the grappling thing, by the way. Sorry, I've been watching you struggle with this for a while. Uh, I'm the thing behind you. Sorry, not that. Uh, it's not that. It's called the... I don't know what it's called. It's the thing that moves things. You see the symbols on that thing? Oh, the gravity thing. Yeah, whatever that thing's called. It's in gadgets, not in weapons. Actually, I guess it's in both, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. Bottom. I'm, no, no, I'm not, not bottom, bottom. Bottom of the hand items. There you go. Bitch. I was going to find it eventually. <laughs> I am not a child. I don't know what you're supposed to do with this, but I... I just see Stick it in the fucking way. No, it, it just does that, that's, I guess. That's, that's the thing. I don't understand the physics of this light wall, but okay. I'll tase you, bro. <laughs> don't tase me, bro. <laughs> Uh, um, but yeah, that's my definition of a 2 out of 5. Fair enough. Playable, but you're not going to get anything particularly fun out of it. Apparently the turrets don't consider him an enemy. Oh, because he's a gravity thing. You got a gravity thing. Are we going to need to put the gravity on the quick select? For this mission, maybe. Maybe replace, uh, something that's already upgraded, or maybe the Tesla thing. Yeah, we don't use the Tesla coil though. Not anymore. So replace that with the with the thing for this, just for this world. But I mean, eh, I just—it's also not a Star Fox game. I mean, at this point, there aren't a lot of Star Fox games left <laughs> for your definition. Yeah. There's like, it's it's one two. 64 and Assault. Those are the actual Star Fox games. And the 3DS Wii. And technically Star Fox Zero. It's not a good Star Fox game, but it is a Star Fox game. I guess. It does a better job of it than Command or so, uh, so, Adventure. So 1, The Unfinished 2, 64, <laughs> Assault, and what was the last zero. one? And the, zero. The, yeah. And any remakes of those as well, obviously. Yeah. Well, because, like, Star Fox 1, 2, and 64 are the same. They play the same, they have the same concept, the same story and character. That's what you need to be a Star Fox game. Adventures takes away the gameplay and makes it Legend of Zelda for some reason. Yeah, there is some ship combat left, but, but it's not, not the a game. lot. It's not the bulk of the game. It's like two levels. I mean, you have to use the ship levels to get between all of the assets. But they're all like piss baby easy. All you, of them. You would be surprised. No, I played it. I did too. They were piss baby easy, except for the last one. The last one was the only one that, that I even had to replay, ever, once. Yeah, because you have to, like, find the rings and stuff? Yeah. I that, only that ever, one was a I beat every single one of them on the first try except for the last one. Yeah. <laughs> Which is why I'm calling them Piss Baby Easy, because that's what they are. Yeah. If I can beat it in one shot, 
reliably. It's it's too easy. I don't know. I I like to imagine that I'm like above the norm as far as video game players go, and I wouldn't like disparage a game because I'm not having trouble. With it. Because I guess that's where we differ because I'm not good at games. <laughs> if I find it easy, it's it's an easy. It's easy. <laughs> I mean, okay. Um, there are some games I'm good at, and classic Star Fox is one of those games. At least just respawn. But I'm by no means like great at any game. It should. When you introduce me to a new game, it should at least take me two tries to beat something. Okay. I guess you know? that's I guess that's where we differ. Cause like I don't feel the need to have to retry something to make it feel like I had a valid experience. Eh. Cause like, oh if I beat it but I had some trouble, then like, oh, that's fine. But I, I didn't beat it. I didn't have any trouble. <laughs> That's the thing, that's what I'm saying. Or if I beat it... I had literally zero trouble with any level other than the last one. Or if I beat it, but at least I had fun beating it. Because I have fun beating, like, eh. uh, the Yoshi's Island levels. Even though Yoshi's Island is 90% of this baby easy game. Most... Well, okay, I suck at Yoshi's Island. <laughs> okay, well, you see, that's that's where we differ. Yeah, see, yeah. There's I a lot of places we differ, apparently. Like, I find a lot of games easy, but I'm fine. Than being easy as long as they're fun. I don't know what it is because looking at Yoshi's Island, I acknowledge it's not an incredibly hard game. I'm ag I agree with you on that. However, for some reason, I'm terrible at it. Okay. I mean, I'll I accept your limitations. <laughs> if you if you if you want evidence of that, just watch any of our playthrough of it. I do not. I am horse to that game. <laughs> I played through that game on the Game Boy Advance and those weak ass controls. Like not with like the GameCube emulator, with the actual Game Boy Advance. <laughs> which had all the problems associated with that. Yeah. Okay. I enjoyed the game. That's yes. a thing. It's great that they didn't tell you at all what was going to happen there. That's a thing apparently. At least it comes back. Um, I nearly beat Ocarina of Time on my phone. Did I tell you about that? No. Back in high school, I downloaded a, uh, I downloaded the, that N64 emulator for a phone, and I almost beat Ocarina of Time with it. Wow. I beat the, the water temple. The infamous water temple. <laughs> I got stuck on the one where you have to deal with the stealth part. And the ladies with the swords who just kind of beat you if they catch you. Huh. Because I'm bad at stealth. And because you have to kind of like aim okay. like a lot for that section of the game. Yeah. And that's really hard on a phone, as you might imagine. Uh, yeah, that's understood. But but I got that far. <laughs> nice. Uh, I think I had like, what, the shadow dungeon? The, the darkness dungeon, whatever it's called. And like one other one left, I think. And then the final area. Okay. So you must have gotten pretty far. I got pretty far. I, I don't know how far, but far. I beat Shadow Link, which uh, is a thing. Yes. Depending on the game, that's a very impressive achievement. Yeah. Or, well, original, uh, original N64 version of uh, Ocarina of Time. Which is the one that's infamous for being cheesable by using the hammer. But I could not figure out how you were supposed to cheese it, so I actually beat him legit. Huh. I bet you you could have, like, climbed up those as soon as you got something. Maybe. Uh, nope, there's not enough there. It just seems weird that they were perfectly stair-shaped. I mean, I guess. Where, where are these sheep keep coming from? I have no idea. I thought <laughs> I killed them all. <laughs> eh. Sound. I think you're just supposed to jump on this one. You're probably right. Because there's nowhere to stand on the left. Yeah. Unfortunately, you have to wait for I it to go there, all the way. I thought because... there was something on the left, but I was mistaken. Yeah. Alright. 
Meanwhile, in the game we're actually playing. Time for some <laughs> minion mancy. Yes! <laughs> this is the crazy bullshit that makes me love Ratchet and Clank right here. Minion Mancy. I love games that will just let you do stupid shit like this. That's one of the things I actually do appreciate about Risk of Rain. Which, speaking of Risk of Rain, and also speaking of potential uh, for doing Star Fox uh, playthroughs, I'm about to connect those two things. Uh, I re recently streamed Risk of Rain from my PC, and it went well. Which implies to me that I'll probably be able to stream AAA games from PC now. Alright. Which is, the reason I bring this up is because now I can probably emulate Star Fox and stream it. I, I have to try it. I haven't tried yet. But. That would be nice. But it would give us the option to actually play Star Fox. Before. The Sheepinator. And if you thought the graphics in uh, Adventure was bad to begin with, just wait till you see the graphical bugs in Emulator. <laughs> it's making even more. Is this supposed you got to more consistently. Right? Is this supposed to... I, I'm aiming it right at this dude. Yeah, see, there's a bar on the side. Look. Oh, okay. Sheep. <laughs> There's an issue. Alright, alright. Fair, fair. Is that all you came here for? Uh, th that's all that's here. Yeah, it must be one of those, there's two paths and... And I picked the wrong path. But hey, you get to turn things into sheep, so that's something. It's not nothing. It's close to nothing, but it's not nothing. Oh wow, it just turns these dudes straight up into sheep. Yeah, the time it takes to turn things is based on health, so... Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. So those things that have, like, no health just pop instantly into sheep. It's like the, those fucking babalities from uh, Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Where instead of ripping their spine out and killing them, you can just turn them into fucking babies. <laughs> <laughs> I love that shit. I like the friendship ones. I think they're just funny. Friendship. You just end up, like, hanging out and, like, yeah. playing ping pong or something. I don't know. Yeah. They're all different ones. It's just funny for a game that's built its entire reputation on being overly violent and gory that you can just make friends. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you beat the shit out of them, but then fritch. But then you're like, hey man, you fought well. Yeah. Congrats. Like We're one, like now. the cyborg just pulls out a grill and starts roasting some meat with his laser beam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Sorry, I'm... I'm uh, my brain has been stuck on this one thing for like 20 minutes because I keep flipping back and forth between what we're talking about and doing and what's on my phone. So I've been stuck on this stupid fucking image that somebody posted in meme combat. Oh, that was me. <laughs> where, it's, where it's just fucking anime Spongebob. Not only that, yaoi anime Spongebob. So, yeah, my I was stuck on that for so long, because I just, like, it, my brain needed time to process what I was looking at, but, but but every time I tried, I was interrupted by something happening in the game. It's just like, what is this? And so I just couldn't get past that one fucking image. Right. So somehow we need to get into this... Into there? Into one of these two areas. There. Okay, so to close the map, the right. Okay, so we have... Are there into that it looks like pipe? you probably have to use the pipe to get around and then turn off the force. Oh wait, isn't there a isn't there a pad there for a hacking thing? Where? Right, right in front of this thing. Oh, I didn't see that. I'm smart. <laughs> oh, that's one of these bullshits. Shit. Ah uh, yes, trial and error. <laughs> Fun. What the fuck? That's such a long I, fucking I pattern. Guess, I guess I got it. That's such a long pattern, though. I had no idea what I was doing. Bridge. <laughs> Does this thing have infinite ammo? Uh, yeah. Nice! Finally a decent infinite ammo gun. Yeah. Those are infinite. Can I turn the landmines into sheep? I don't think so. No, because the meter wasn't going up when you were doing it. See? Oh. 
Unfortunately, no. Turn everything into sheep. Does this have an upgraded version? Yes. <laughs> well, I want to see what it is. Turns them into evil sheep that attack people. I think it actually turns them into exploding sheep, if I remember correctly, but... But... I just want to see it. Well, that was nothing. Yeah, that was nothing. That was actually nothing, wow. It was a misdirect. The only issue with this gun is you have to be, you have to actually keep hitting them. Yeah, you have to be really close, and you can't just, like, do some damage now and some later. Yeah. You have to just do it. Mm -hmm. So it won't work on big things, for sure. You, you gotta get closer, man. This guy really is I thought not that tough up close. I thought I was dealing damage. You may have been, but it's a shotgun, so you do more if you're close. I think so. I would know. Look, I thought I'd hit you. Okay. You have I'm one just one. completely fucked up this section. A little bit. I don't know what, why you're having so much trouble moving through these landmines. I was probably just not paying enough attention. It seemed like you were paying too much attention. Well, clearly the game thinks that I was supposed to take a lot of damage here. Yeah. Apparently so. Minion Mansion. That was grossly unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You needed one of those turrets, if even that. I love shit that just does things for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a secret. Ah. Cool. Not this shit. <laughs> Well, you know it's not that way. Um, yeah, now I've truly exhausted my options in that direction. Uh, what? It's down right. Yeah. It has to be. What? Uh. Ah. Uh. Oh my god. <laughs> are you this fucking, so fucking are you long. fucking serious? Wait, look at the right. I think that's how many you're supposed to go. Oh. You see that, right? I see that. <laughs> it's a long pattern. Are you fucking <laughs> shitting me? I can't even remember that much. This is like Simon Says on crack. <laughs> If you keep making correct decisions, the timer slows down. I've noticed. Okay. You get more time every time you make a correct decision. I, I literally can't remember this <laughs> far in advance. <laughs> I literally can't. I keep it's making the I keep, Let me try it. Let me I try keep it. making the same mistakes over and over. We already know this is correct. Now here's the confusing part. It's not that. It's not that. Okay. Got it. Got it. I think I got it. At least that much. I don't know where to go from here. Fuck. That's the way you gotta go. I just don't yeah. know. I just didn't know how to get back to it. No, shit. That's not what I meant to do. No, shit, that's also not what I meant to do. Sorry, joystick on a... Uh, fucking hell. Joystick on a globe is really fucking weird momentum, motion-wise. Uh, so it's like that, and then... No, it's not down. It's... But it's also not that down. Fuck! If you make one dead end, then you just fail. 
Yeah, pretty much. No, it's not down. We already know that. It's it's that. I was really close, I think. I, yeah, probably. This this is a secret thing. That's why it's so. No, it's not down. It's it's this way. Fuck! <laughs> I did the same thing again. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You make the same mistakes twice because you can't fucking remember. <sighs> that was it. What did that do? Oh, it brought a thing in. Better be something. It's nanotech. I guess that's something. It's something, I mean. Or that's something. You said it better be something. It was something. It, was it wasn't a... really anything momentous, but. Do you want to take it back? Eh, I'll take it back if you want. I'm fine doing it. I'm just gonna try and scan the Keepinator on these guys and see if it works. Yeah, that's pretty easy. Do they turn back? They do, apparently. Okay, not using the Keepinator. Yeah, They're spawning! Fuck this yeah. room. Yeah. Fuck the room. Ain't dealing with it. Oops. <laughs> A random bottomless pit. Sorry. Where are we going from here? Which way did you go from here? Um, down into that room. Oh, and across there. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You could probably just pulse all the way through. Yeah. Or you could just activate them and then jump them like this. That's why I was saying I think you're trying, you're thinking too much about it. Because look. <laughs> See what I mean? Um, I, I, can, I can at least kill these guys. This is pretty heavily guarded for being a decommissioned mm. I think this guy's probably trying to get one over. This is the point where they where they were spawning, so fuck this area. I feel like that's a thing in a lot of these levels where you just have to you just like, avoid say fuck them. it. But say fuck it and avoid them. Yeah, no, I'm inclined to agree with you. Can I do this or are they gonna fucking shoot me? It's just the most dispiriting thing ever to just be taken all the way <laughs> the fuck back, point by point. Yes! It is. It's like, hey, nope, we're gonna it's make like a- It's like, you ran out of time! <laughs> and we're gonna spend five seconds glorifying that you failed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that really is it. Okay. I was gonna say. It really just put me nowhere. Our last name is Cross. Ratchet here. Uh, Angela, is that your name? Ratchet was calling you something different. Oh, was he now? Anyway, I'm going to warn you that thugs are less taken over by flying lab. But were the thugs not working for you? Not anymore. Apparently, someone's made them a better offer. I tell you, between the thugs and the protopet, this whole galaxy's heading for Wait, wait, say again? Protopet? Oh, oh, yeah. It's what they're calling the experiment now. Here, watch this. No, no, no. Why is Billy sad? Is he cold? Hungry? Or maybe just. Oh, no, 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 take it away! Lonely. <laughs> Introducing the Megacore Protopet. Your child will shriek with joy when he meets our adorable friend. Wanna play ball? So does the Protopet. Need a partner for tag? Go find the Protopet. Up for some cops and robbers? Help! Please! So is you know who. Just ask Billy. Yeah! 
<laughs> the Megacore Protopet. Stop by Planet Bolden and get yours free from Abercrombie Fizz Widget himself. <laughs> you mean that thing is going to be a Megacorp intends to mark a killer that is simply unconscionable. Which is exactly what I've been trying to tell you. Hmm. There will be a disaster. You weren't trying to tell us shit. Yeah, no. We must be through to Mr. You were just trying to kill us. That's why you're a dumb bitch. Not for any other reason. But because you weren't trying to tell us shit before. Just like, oh, you're trying to stop me. I'm going to kill you instead of, oh. I should probably try to convert you to my point of view. Be like, hey, this thing's dangerous, man. Maybe don't. Do maybe, that. maybe we can work together on this. Um. Also, we don't know. I love how the kid. I was trying to say. I, I forgot what it was. I was trying to say. Uh. I, I love how the kid immediately upon seeing it is like, no, take that thing away from me. Yeah, because <laughs> uh, that's like uh, implying that this commercial was shot multiple times. Probably. Or that maybe he was like part of the test like group or something. Yeah, either, He definitely has former experience with this creature. Yeah, either the commercial was shot multiple times or the experiment has eaten his friends <laughs> who were before him in line. A genuine possibility. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not sure which is funnier. It, it's funny, regardless. <laughs> I love that, like, hello, guys, we're here to market you this thing. Ah! As, like, in the background, it's just, oh, fuck, no, no! <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's not the only time that joke has been done, but I love when it's, when they, I love it every time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got to find Mr. Fizzwidget and then explore Silver City. All right. Do you want to take it back, or you want me to? Listen up, thugs for less. We got a big job ahead, so pay attention. Uh, Megacorp has hired us to protect their CEO, Mr. Fizzwidget. They feel that he's getting a little, uh, you know, cuckoo in his old age, and they're concerned for his safety. The Fizzwidget's kind of old-fashioned, so I want everything handled with the... <laughs> pride and courtesy. People have come to expect from us. Also, be on the lookout for these two characters. I have a personal interest in seeing them rubbed out. So, I'm offering a free pizza party to the squad who bags it. So, remember, why is that his eyes drinks so and desserts? Over and out. I don't know. It's probably a graphical bug as a result of this thing being ported from PS2 to PS3. Uh, probably. But that answer isn't very funny. So, I don't know, maybe he's a robot or some shit. Why do you think his eyes are pixelated? Um, I don't know, maybe he's a cyborg. Yeah. That's not a very fun answer, but that's what I think. Maybe, um, he has a rare eye condition where, uh... <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if you could just walk around that? <laughs> I, I was hoping. <laughs> Some small bit of hope. But I don't know how we're actually supposed to go. I think you're just supposed to go a different way. Yeah, it just point, puts you in front of this gate and says, no, go somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> like... Um... I'm like, hey, you see this thing? Yeah, you're gonna need to do that eventually. Yeah, but not right now. Why is there a gate blocked off right next to the main entrance in this city? Maybe this is like a really big wig city that only like the upper class can get to. Maybe. And they that wanna... would fit in line with the uh, capitalism themes of this game. Wow, this is the jetpack. I, I thought that we right were away. using the glider for some reason. I said it was the jetpack because I thought you might think that. And you still thought that. Because <laughs> I thought you meant something else when I heard the word jetpack. <laughs> well, we spent so long getting the glider, it makes sense that, like, that would be on your mind. Uh, so we got, can I just jump on these things? Or are they no, obstacles? I think they're obstacles. Oh. Time to mash it. 
Super X in this case. Welcome to Flappy Ratchet. That could be interpreted in a very different way. <laughs> Interpret it as you will. Why? Uh, did, why did I not do that? Because you weren't on the pad. Okay, I guess I need to be on the pad right? instead of just near the pad. Yes, that is the case. I was wondering why you were walking towards the edge. But I didn't exactly have time to question it before, you know, <laughs> it happened. Cool. Very nice. That was very smooth, I like that. Thank you, Ratchet and Clay. Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kanye. Very cool. This looks like the other side of that thing. It is the other side of that Now we thing. can get past without going through that. Dark Souls level plan. Except on a very major risk. Yeah. Can we just, uh... Yes, apparently. That's probably enough, man. The amount, of, huh? the amount of HP of these enemies never ceases to surprise me. Fair enough. Also, I said that's probably enough, but then the amount you fired after that was exactly the correct <laughs> amount. So, well done, I suppose. Yeah. You really proved me wrong there. And made yourself look like you knew what you were doing. Instead of like all of them. Because <laughs> you absolutely could. Not, there's literally nothing stopping you. And spam the thing with <laughs> turrets. That would be one way to do it. Okay. Imagine if we had those turrets when we were dealing with that section that we got kept getting fucked in. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't that have, like, changed that completely? Mm -hmm. So this looks like it's a dead end, but there might be something like this. There's gotta be something. That's not necessarily true with this game, but I'm hoping anyway. There's something. It probably won't be worth it, knowing this game, but it's probably like a, like a nanotech upgrade or something. So, you know, might as well check it out, right? There's enemies here, so they have to be guarding something. Unless they're just guarding the bolts that they can take. Fair enough. Also, I should really be using the screen. Or they're just guarding the concept of the trap that has that they've created by making you think they're guarding something. Yeah, the straight flow really makes this like half as hard as it normally would be. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the straight mode is a huge change, and I really like it. It's definitely a game changer in those maps. Oh, poor sheep. Well, I, mean, I really wish they to... didn't turn back. Well, unless they only turn back because they heard this map. Yeah, then, let's find out. And you didn't see them just despawning in order for this map. Because I do think it's really hilarious if you just in your wake, just a pile of sheep. Okay, this guy is absolutely... Just kill that guy with regular That guy is just Yeah, just kill him with regular ass guns. You're gonna... Oh. I was gonna say you're gonna die, because I thought that was a hole, but... Then it wasn't. <laughs> I don't <laughs> want to deal with this. That's why those things are the best. I think I already told you there's a version of those right, in yeah. the later games where it's just one, and he says funny shit. Oh, nice. And that's it. <laughs> that's, that's just the thing. Well, it looks like these sheep aren't going to spawn at least. Yeah. Nice. You just leave a wake of sheep behind you. Some leave bodies in their way. I leave sheep. 
<laughs> that could be like the title of some like action movie, but it's an Amish dude. What? I leave sheep? I leave sheep in my lake. <laughs> An Amish action movie? Yeah, where it's just an Amish. Well, do the Amish use guns? No, they don't use anything. That's the joke. Like, yeah, well, I was just thinking because like they use like primitive technology, but like guns have been around for a long time. So would they use like flintlock pistols or some shit? I mean, maybe. Yeah, that no, very clearly looks like it's supposed to be something later. Yeah, I think we're just somewhere that we're supposed to be. Yeah. Well, might as well remember that it exists. So what are the... Good. Sorry. I thought I was going to get something for you. That was your mistake, just thinking anything in this game could be cool. <laughs> I'm back to bashing the game, even though this one isn't even that bad. Yeah, it's, it's just too much fun to bash the game. It's, it's moved on from like a 2 out of 5 to a 3 out of 5, compared to the first game. That's fair, that's fair. And I would say that... The first game was a very <laughs> because it was very important. I'm, I'm, I have no idea how to suck I really don't know, man. The combat in the, these games, the one, everyone that isn't one, is actually like one of the few things I'm good at. So it is slightly painful to watch. I forgot what I was gonna I was gonna I had a joke, but I stopped because you were saying something and I don't remember. Something about honest superhero. Oh yeah, I was gonna ask you. Yeah, I was gonna ask you, what is the what does the Amish action hero use, if not a gun? Uh he just uses um pitchfork maybe? Yeah, he just stabs people with a pitchfork and he just throws like Farmyard equipment at people. Like sickles and whatnot. Sure. And his calling card is that he just leaves a sheep at the scene of the crime. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Fucking 21st Century Fox uh, published this. Yeah. Get into contact with us, we'll sell you the rights. <laughs> <laughs> Where did he get these sheep? I mean, I assume he raises them. Yeah, he raises the sheep and leaves them as pollen cards. He just keeps them in his truck, you know, like, off the seat. Yeah, his, his, dual, his dual identity is just that he's a... Uh, just like a regular sheep. Yeah. And he's like... He's like a vigilante. And like, a good portion of the movie, it's like Batman where like... It's like specifically the Dark Knight Batman where you see him as like regular philanthropist too. But yeah. like... You see the guy like caring for and actually genuinely loving his sheep yeah. that he leaves behind. You get you see his tender side, and then but, he just turns into a total badass. Yeah, but and you like see like oh he's got to leave this sheep behind. Like, Sorry, but it's, it's it's my way. I need to. I need to. It's the way. They have to know the correct way. They have to know what this is all about. Yeah. There's a message to send. And you, my friend. <laughs> there you go, man. <laughs> right. If you need help writing the script, we can help you with that too. <laughs> the script writes itself, but we'll write it for you if you don't want to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> Just an act turning that into an actual movie. <laughs> right. We gotta write this shit down. All right. <laughs> If it weren't for the absolutely absurd context, that would be an actually badass <laughs> line, too. That's what makes it great. I have a message to send. There's a message to send, and you, my friend, oh, the career. career. <laughs> <laughs> that does sound like something that would be in an action movie. Yeah. Like a, like a late 80s action movie. When they were, like, getting edgy. Yeah. I need to figure something out. Oh man, I miss I miss like Bruce Willis movies. <laughs> they don't make them like they used to. Cheesy one-liners and all that. You know. 
Do you have a favorite action movie? Uh, not really. I I would need to be reminded of what an action movie must be defined as. Well, I guess like okay. Because like the, I've I've probably seen a lot, but I can't think of any that I say like yeah I need to I need I really needed to have seen this. Yeah. Well, action movie I guess is a really vague term. It can be applied to a lot of different movies. Yeah. So let's say specifically like the it doesn't have to be made in the eighties, but the eighties style of action movies. So when it like, was like dude with a gun kicking ass of like Russians or something. So you like you would count the Expendables as something? That yeah, I definitely. Could, I could say. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's the exact type of movie I'm talking about. Yeah, I mean, I did like the Expendables, but I. Expendables is pretty good. Hmm. You know, I... is the Expendables the one where Jason Sh Jason Statham shows up for like one scene? I'm not sure who Jason Statham is, but it's the one where like British Bruce Willis. <laughs> it's, it's the one where there's literally just every action movie hero. Who's yep, in that's it. That's it. And that's that's the yeah. premise. Is Jason that... Statham shows up in it for like one minute, and he doesn't do anything. Yeah, I, I think, think. I and think... it kind of sucks because I really like Jason Statham. That was the only thing that really disappointed me about that movie. Is I was like, oh, he's in this, and then he just didn't do anything. Um. Would you count uh, Independence Day as an action movie? Yeah, sure. Because I like that. that. That's a slightly more artsy one. It's more creative and unique than others, but that definitely fits. That one's sort of like a like a typical action movie crossed with like a, a typical uh, disaster movie. Yeah. Because it's not all disaster and it's not all action. Yeah. But that one definitely counts. Yeah, that definitely counts. Yeah. Independence Day is good, I'll give you that. That's one of my favorites. The best B movie ever. Yeah. Because that was a B movie. What? Independence Day. Really? Yeah, it had like no budget. Wow. For, from what I. They did, did a good job with a little budget then. Yeah. Because. Well, it just goes to show you that the best, the best movies understand that it's not about pouring budget into effects and yeah. like big action scenes and everything. Sometimes it's just the writing. And the reason the reason Independence Day is remembered is not like it's it's, it's, because, it's because the effects Will, are pretty decent. It's because Will Smith fucking killed it. But Will Smith fucking killed it, and the president in that movie, that whole speech, oh, is yeah. also just mm, oh, yeah. flawless writing. This will be our Independence Day. Yeah, like, that yeah. movie rocks, and it's about the writing, you know. Armor. The best movies understand that. Oh God. Uh, Fuck off. Well, we could do that in the future. Let's just remember it exists. I mean, we're gonna have to get it, because you know that once I poke my head around the next <laughs> corner, I'm going to get a fucking nuclear bomb shoved up my urethra. <laughs> You're just gonna get... Some, some fucking spindly dude is just gonna step out and fucking shank you for eight damage. <laughs> <laughs> just like, better fucking buy that now. Yeah. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> God damn. So, definitely something that counts as an action movie, but definitely not something that fits into this category. V for Vendetta is my favorite movie ever. Mm -hmm. But it's I wouldn't call that the same type of thing. That one's a lot heavier on the writing. Yeah. You see, my problem is that I don't really mentally keep track of what's my favorite, so I'm like, yeah, I really liked that movie. And then, like, probably not remember it. Oh. I don't really. This is cool. Oh, this God. is actually pretty cool. Uh, this is pretty legit. Um, I don't. I don't keep track of my favorite of like every genre, but I keep track of my like my top three in general, which I think currently stands as. Yeah. Okay, so number one is definitely V for Vendetta, and then two and three I have a really hard time picking because there's three movies that could fit in both of those slots, and they're all kind of equal. Which is Kill Bill, which I count both movies as yep. one, because they basically are. Yeah, I, um, I agree. Yeah. Uh, Kill Bill, which is a good one. Um, uh, uh, Joker, which was really good. I enjoyed that. I, didn't, I haven't seen Joker. Actually. Oh, really? I thought you were with us when we all went. No, because I probably had work that day. Yeah, probably. You might be able to jump in from the top. Like, if you walk in this way, you fall, right? Oh, or that. <laughs> or that. 
I mean, I mean, either um, way it works. That's a shame because Joker was actually is a really good movie. Okay, how do I? Um. Do I do? Uh, you want me to take it? I mean, if you want, sure. You haven't played it before. Um, and the other one is so so it's Kill Bill, Joker, and uh, uh, the Dark Knight. I mean, I've, all of which I have a lot of difficulty deciding. I've seen basically all of the things in all the scenes in Kill Bill, but not in the proper order. <laughs> so I can't really I can't really well, lay claim to how good it is. You know, until I see it in the intended. Order. There, are, it's really weird because I have a very I have a very OCD thing about watching things in order, and Kill Bill is one of my favorite movies, and yet, I will still say, Kill Bill is one of the few movies that it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I mean... Because I... the whole thing is... Has, has always... Oh, I thought it was dead, so I stopped moving. Damn it. Oh. And then I almost did die. <laughs> Kill Bill is one of the rare movies that's, like, all about style. And so... Seeing the scenes from that movie is pretty much enough. Uh, yeah, what did I tell you? Nuclear bomb up the urethra. Yeah, do I have enough now? No. 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 Nowhere near even. Jeez. In fact, we might have less than what we started with, because I bought all that in. Shit. Okay, you know what? I was trying not to be a bitch, because you just, you just did this and you didn't get through it. I didn't want to be a bitch and take the controller and immediately run past everything. But I think I'm justified. I think I don't think you'll be mad at me about that. <laughs> if I do that. I mean, I won't be mad if you succeed. Fair enough. I got farther. Yeah. Um, the issue was I couldn't use the jet boost thing that I usually use to dodge things. Because you can't use it when you're upside down like that. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to get a lay of the land. Um, but yeah, Kill Bill is all about style, which is weird yeah. because I'm usually the type of person who likes substance with my movies over style, but Kill Bill just does it so goddamn well that I cannot deny it's a really good fucking movie. <laughs> yeah, I mean, all of the scenes that I've seen in Kill Bill were really fucking killer. Yeah. So I would probably say that it's a really good movie just on that. Yeah. I would need to see how it coherently links together. It's a to, fun to movie. give my final opinion because right now, what I do think, you know about it? I think I could say it either would be a four out of five or a five out of five, but I wouldn't know until God, I, I see it front until I see it front to back. So I don't know if I want it want to call it a four or a five. I can't do the fucking dash. Of course I can jump and do all the other mobility options, but I can't do the fucking dash that makes this actually playable. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you, game. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I like how falls... Yeah, I do like how that works. He just falls into the sky. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is an appropriate time to just spam the mini turret club. Minion Nancy. This is the Minion Nancy moment. <laughs> I love all these boxes, by the way, but they are also a real nuisance. Okay. It's awesome because it means that there's a lot of destructible environment during the fight. Yes. But it also sucks because it means that my turrets don't get to them. Okay. Okay. But it looks like they did anyway. So. But yeah, if you had to sum up the plot of that movie, what would you say? Just knowing the knowing what you know and nothing else. Oh, I know the plot. It's that oh, okay. the bride gets fucked over by that middle-aged dude who takes you. Yeah, that's Bill. Yeah, yeah so... <laughs> therefore, so, therefore, um, the bride's just like, alright, I'm gonna fucking kill Bill. But I don't know where he is, so I'm gonna kill all of his, like, subordinates first. Until I find out. They were actually all in on it, and she actually intentionally hunts them down. Okay. Yeah. Alright, then I it's guess It's not I... just about him, but he is, like, the last one. Alright, I guess I got, like, one thing left. She does it as the very poetic thing of, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna kill all of them, and I'm gonna finish with you. I'm gonna save you for last. The whole movie is that ha has that exact sort of dramatic revenge story aura. Yeah. And that's kind of the point. Mm-hmm. And that's why it's so fucking stylish. I wonder what happens if I use this on you. Oh, they just work. Alright. Okay, okay. Do my work for me. Fucking burn them down. Thank you. Yeah. 
thank you. Oh, but I guess it destroys the turrets. Too. I think the turrets just go away over time. Okay. Yeah, see? Turrets are definitely the way to go on this. Mm hmm. They're just the win button. Yeah, I like the turrets. That's why I wanted to buy them. Yeah, that was a good call. But yeah, uh, one of my favorite scenes in Kill Bill, though, um, is weirdly enough not a fight scene. Because Kill Bill is known for its really good fights. Yeah. But one of the best scenes in that movie is not even a fight scene. It's the scene where she goes to learn from the, the master, Hattori Hanzo. Oh yeah, that, that scene. That scene... No. Oh, oh my god. I swear to god. I don't know how far... Yeah! No! Yeah! No! Yeah! I'm, I'm fucking done. <laughs> I have lost all semblance of patience for this game. It's over. I want you to know that. <laughs> I'm doing it on this run or we're done. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not firing a single shot either. Okay, I'll fire some, I'll, I'll at least... Oh, I don't have turrets anymore. I'll at least activate these boys here. That's the last boys you got. I know. I will then continue to run after them. And just use them as a distraction. Look at- I got shot twice and look at my health. Yeah. Like I said, the nuclear the bomb up the urethra for not buying the armor. I am done with your shit. God damn. I hope those synthenoids don't go away because I need them right now. They are the only way I'm going to get this fall right now. I bet you I was like two inches from a continuum one too. Yeah, probably. But I have no health then, so. If if I if there is not a continue point right there, I am fucked. Oh also. Fuck. Yeah, Wait, I have this. This will work. Um, but yeah, you know the scene with Hattori Hanzo. Yeah, where she She's has to alert second. him. Like, she tries to eat with her fingers, but he says no. No, that's a different one. Oh, never mind. That's, uh, that's, that's in a flashback sequence where she's training to become the assassin that she is. Oh, okay. Um, I'm th I guess I must not have seen that scene. That's in the second movie. The Hattori Hanzo one is... Yeah. I think I've seen, like, probably 60% of Chet Part 1 and, like, 90% of the second I think you told me that before. I vaguely remember you saying something. Like, oh, no. Uh, you no. know what that is. Death. I still only have two fucking health. Where am I going? Before I step one foot outside of here, I want to know where I'm going. You're going for... I'm just going down, I guess. At least the gravity boots don't force you to just be there. Like, be anchored. Like the gra gravity boots were in the first game. Ah, here you go. Yeah, I agree. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, no. The two of you are under arrest. Dimp in the bum off, Mr. Fizzy. But this is insane. You're not fooling anyone. You and your metal buddy just learned yourselves a trip to our new prison. Watch this. Thugs for less prison would like to wish you a happy incarceration. After a full side orientation, all new inmates will meet one on one with a galactic nutritionist. While the video playing, this professional will ensure that you're eating a species appropriate diet for your entire stay. Next, come check out our fitness spa with your personal trainer. Remember, the prison term can feel twice as long if you're not in proper shape. And for those times when you're just feeling blue, 
Come target out with one of our ten full-time life coaches. That's the guy that sold They'll us help the you shit find your like smile this. again. Oh. Thugs for less prison. Experience the maximum insecurity. Yeah. What do you think of that? That didn't seem so bad. I assume you have provisions for vegetarians. Of course. Vegan or Wait a minute. Yo, take them away. And then pound that shit. Go, go. <laughs> what the fuck? But he's just not gonna fucking fight back. Apparently not. Apparently they're just gonna be like, "Yeah, hey, that place doesn't look too bad. Let's get a free meal, and maybe we'll find some information there." <laughs> okay. Also, they don't take his armor away. Like no, apparently not. Or the sh or the hem helmet, which we know can mind control ships. I'm afraid that there is absolutely no means of escape. Someone's got a girlfriend. I will be right back. Don't uh, stop for anything along the way. Do you want to take Clank? I've played all the Clank levels up to. That's fine, I can do it. I was just offering because it is technically your turn. I am dead. Also, it took an uncomfortably long time for him to die. <laughs> You just watch every agonizing second of it. So, uh, what was I saying? Something about Kill Bill. Oh yeah, the Hattori Hanzo thing. You know how the whole time they're talking about these famous swords? I... that's my own fault. Um, made by Hattori Hanzo. Uh, no. Well, it's a thing they keep talking about, but, uh... As part of the plot of that movie, the bride goes to... Uh, Japan. Because she needs a Hattori Hanzo sword in order to kill Bill. Okay. Because they're like the best swords, and oh Jesus, and uh, he has one, and all of his oh Renishi and uh, Hammerbot, whatever. Um, they all uh, have them, so she needs one basically because they're they're supposed to be so incredibly good that like having them is actually a boon basically. Yeah. But anyway, she goes to this guy and basically asks him, like, well, actually, she shows up at his shop, and, and the thing is, when they do this, we don't know why she's there, and we and this is, like, early on in the movie, and you don't know anything about what the fuck is going on. Yeah. She shows up in this fucking noodle shop, and she's like, uh... Use the hammer bar. Oh, right, sorry. I'm sorry, I can't do two things at once here. I can't summarize the whole movie while also solving a really simple puzzle, apparently. Okay. Um, she, uh... I'm sorry, I look like a complete fucking idiot, because I'm, I'm, I'm dividing my attention between two things. Um, she basically, like, asks for, uh, like, noodles, and she's, she's just kind of chatting with him and acting like a tourist in general. And, um... And, you know, he, he just completely believes she's a tourist, and, uh, she says, uh, Arigato, I believe. But she says it, like, she says it with, like, a really American way, like, a really American accent. Yeah. Like, Arigato, like, nobody, they say Arigato because yeah. of the way they sound. So, and he's, like, correcting her and trying to, like, teach her, teach her Japanese and everything, and it's this really, like, cute little scene. Yeah. And then, uh... He basically asks, okay, so what brings you to, what brings you to Japan, basically? I think it's Okinawa she's in. And, and she says, oh, I'm looking for a friend. And he says, oh, may, I might know him. Small place. What's his name? And she looks up and says, and just like this dead serious look on her face, it's Tori Hanzo. And then he looks at her, like, wide-eyed, like, what the fuck did you just say? Right. And the guy, his son, who's like cutting things in the background, you can hear him go, shoo, as he puts the knife down. <laughs> and it's like this awkward, silent moment. And then he just st starts speaking to her in Japanese, and she just responds in fucking perfect, fluent Japanese. <laughs> and it's like, oh god, this is such a badass scene. <laughs> like, shit got me. It's just writing. There's no action or anything, but it's just the most badass shit. Oh, nice. Um. Uh, it's just, it's it's very just, like, it's really over-the-top cheesy type of stuff, but it's done so well that it's like, 
even though you're you watch it and you acknowledge yes this is kind of stupid and cheesy but you gotta appreciate it anyway like like you know you just enjoy it right <laughs> it doesn't have to be like it's a che it's cheesy you're aware it's cheesy the people in the scene are aware it's cheesy but it it completely takes itself seriously nice and it just does it well. And the whole the whole movie is either really badass for action scenes, uh, really weird comedy uh, that almost borders on not being comedy, or scenes that are like that. Like 100% of the movie is that. And that's why I like it so much because the whole thing is about this consistent style. How do I do this? It's uh, enter right. Which one's that? There we go. Sacrifice yourself. Yeah, and then, and then they go through this whole training section where uh, he takes her upstairs to see his swords and then tells her about how uh, I'm going to die. And it's because I'm supposed to use the bots, I know. I just, I'm, my mind is split between too many things. There were no bots. Oh my god. Really? There were no bots? I was yeah. just actually supposed to fight that shit? Yeah, I think so. Oh my god. Okay, well, fuck me then. Uh, I apologize, you guys have to watch this again, and it's all because I'm telling one stupid fucking story. But it goes through the whole trading sequence, and he talks about how it, he swore he'd never make another weapon to hurt someone ever again, basically. Um, because his swords were used for such terrible things. And she's like, oh, but I think you owe me uh, something. I think you basically owe me a sword. And he's like, why the fuck would I owe you a sword? And she's like, because, I'm, because the person I'm trying to kill is one of your former students. And he immediately knows it's Bill. Oh. And then they go through the whole, like, training montage and everything, and at the end of it, uh, it's, he's finally forged the sword, and she's trained, uh, a little bit under him, and it ends with her sort of sitting respectfully to accept the sword as he holds it out to her, and she takes it and says, Arigato. And it's the most incredible, or, or Domo, or whatever. Which, which one's thank you, and which one's you're welcome? She said. Anyway, she says the word from the very beginning when they first met, and it's like, oh, you know, yeah. you could not make that better. No. Anyway, Nathan loved that scene, and I love that scene. It's a good scene. Yeah. But that's just like an explanation of why, even when the movie isn't being really over the top and action packed, it's still really good. It just understands how to make a good movie. I don't. I can't explain. Yeah, no, you I've been talking about this for too much, it's fine. I mean, you've explained yourself. Yeah, I just love that movie so much. I could talk about it for hours, but I won't because I already have been talking about it too long. <laughs> it's okay, though, because there's honestly nothing interesting to say during Clank sections. They just suck. <laughs> yeah, you just have to endure. There really is nothing I can do about this, is you there? You just have to brawl it out with one HP. And they have fucking ranged weapon guys. Actually, they're not ranged weapon guys, they're saw guys. But still, he's gonna kick my ass. What was I supposed to do about that? The instant I got near him, he fucking obliterated me. And also, they started this with the worst timing, so I have to wait every fucking time. And I'm mad about it now. <laughs> you see this, right? Yes. I am aware it's of the clank level. Fucking infuriating. No, but it's not even the cl okay. The clank levels are bad. That's part of it. But it's also just this. It's not hard. They just put it right at the beginning, so you have to fucking wait every time. <laughs> Fuck that. Sorry. <laughs> Oops, I don't have those guys. I want this instead. So Jacob. <laughs> yes. Do you have anything to say about action movies or? Anything or anything else at all? Uh, not really. Um, action movies are action movies. Mm. There's, there's not really much to say about most of them. Yeah. They do the job of being popcorn flicks very effectively. Yeah. And I promptly forget all about most of them after they I finish the screen. <laughs> that actually reminds me of, um... I swear, for most of the, most movies, they're just in one ear and out the other. Yeah, that's within, fair. Within seconds. Yeah, you've got to get you got to be a really unique movie to really stick with people nowadays. Also, I don't really watch a lot of movies. So. Yeah, because I do, and 
because that, it, for me it's the same thing, but it, for a different reason. Because it's like, oh, do I actually want to take the time to go down to the movie theater and watch a movie? The answer to that question is usually no. Yeah. Unless I'm doing it with friends and I don't get invited over mm -hmm. to do that a lot. I watch a lot of I movies online. I think it's online. mostly just NPC energy at this point. Because I don't really actively say, hey, I should watch a movie. Right. Like, oh, if somebody invites me to watch one, then yeah, I'll go to the movies. Sure, yeah, yeah. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't go to the theater that often either. Um, when I do watch movies, I usually watch them like on a computer or something. And I don't watch, like, just any movie. I, like, have a movie recommended to me or yeah. something that I see, like, advertised, and I'm like, oh, that's a good classic movie I'll probably enjoy, and I watch that. I mean, it's also the same reason why I haven't finished, like, half of the animes that I've been trying to watch. Yeah. Like, I still haven't finished watching Shield Hero or Demon Slayer. There even isn't even that much content of either of those. I know. I still <laughs> haven't finished them. I'm just about finished with this. Um, because, <laughs> like, my computer is shit, and I don't want to keep watching the Crunchyroll ads. I fucking hate Crunchyroll ads, dude. It's, it's They're e so long. It's, e it's like regular-ass television. It's easily, like, two minutes in the Every time, dude. And it, it's, there's one at the beginning, and sometimes there's one in the middle, too. Yep. Mm-hmm. It usually is on the shows I watch down there. So I'm like, do I want to deal with this shit? I have some good I don't want to. I have some good websites I could recommend you off stream, but uh, but, yeah, for the that, sake of off stream, for the sake of incriminating myself. <laughs> yeah, let's let's not go there. Just That's yet. partially a joke. Let's not go there just yet. <laughs> That's partially a joke. <laughs> uh, But this actually, this reminds me of the thing I, I the reason I started the, the discussion on action movies. Um, the thing I was originally going to say, uh, like, my, I have my top three favorite movies, but um, as far as, like, guilty pleasure for action movies goes, like, a movie that I like that just isn't really, like, it's not particularly well written, and it's not particularly, um, like, it doesn't have a lot of, like, greater meaning or anything. Like, V for Vendetta is a very artsy movie. It's a good action flick, and it's also an artsy movie. But but as far as movies go that, that like, don't really have all that much, in, like, meaningful substance to them, I, I really like um, Live Free or Die Hard. Uh, I haven't seen it. That one's, that one's one of my favorites. Nice. Um, it's just Bruce Willis and some nerdy programmer guy going around the city... Uh, beating up goons and blowing up helicopters with cars. Nice. <laughs> and it's it's there's really nothing more to it. That's pretty good. It's just a fun movie. As far as movies that you don't have to really care about go, that's a good one. I don't think you have to kill those guys just to... These oh those guys? Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, try going back and using the box. Well, there's bots over here, right? Yeah, like I said, use, use the bots to kill them after you get them. Yeah. Good point. I should do this. Um, I probably would have been doing this if I wasn't a fucking idiot. I thought he just straight up murdered Yeah, me both too. Of them at once. Me too. I was about to be like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I see how it is, game. Shit. Wow. This is so much more bearable when you're not being a fucking moron. When you're playing the game at the way it's intended. Go over there, idiot. <laughs> Instead of playing it on hard mode. Yeah. Hard mode. The mode where you just don't try. Because uh, you're in the middle of telling a very long story. Hey, you little shit. You haven't sacrificed yourself to the greater good. Get How over here. You? Get over here, you little bitch. Alright. Uh, luckily, we're almost done for the night. That's good, because I'm feeling pretty good. Power failure. Oh. Oh, shit. Emergency generator. Also, we're selling guns right next to the 
fucking <laughs> prison holding bay. Yep. What could go wrong? Fuck you, I'm killing you with the wrench. Because I'm going to put my nuts on you. <laughs> what is it? I don't know, I was trying to make a wrench joke. I know, it was a pretty good one actually. <laughs> It was one of those jokes that was funny just because of how bad it was. <laughs> well done. Do you remember? Do you remember that clip in? Uh, you know what? That had the same energy as. Do you remember that time in the Kingdom Hearts 2 playthrough when I was trying to make a pun on Phil's name? Do you remember that one? And I just I'm like. Not sure. Okay, so I just like I was trying to make a pun on Phil's name because he was being a dick to us, telling us saying that we weren't real heroes, basically. Okay. You remember that whole thing? I think so, yeah. And, uh, and I, I, what happened was I started down, like, a path, and, like, my mind, like, like, started me there, and then I just couldn't, like, like, I was searching the whole time while I was speaking really slowly for a, for a different ending to the sentence I was saying, but I couldn't find one, so in the end what I ended up saying <laughs> was just... It was like a, the whole thing is, it was like a train wreck that I couldn't stop. Like, I saw, I saw it coming from a mile away, and I was like, there's nothing I can do about this. And what I ended up saying was, fuck you, Phil. I'll fucking fill your mouth with my jizz. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember that? I remember that now. And I was like, you know, I really tried not to say that, but there was no other thing I could say. That was just the only conclusion that made any sense. I remember that now. You know, I was like, I was trying to come up with literally any other punchline to that joke, and I just couldn't. <laughs> I really, I really enjoyed that day. It was the same energy, same energy. Yep, it really was. <laughs> You know, that was actually all after we beat the game, too. It was when we went back to uh, do all the side content because you need to in order to fight Sephiroth. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Because, um... God fucking damn it. Do you want to do the ratchet thing? At least it's not Clank yet. Alright, fine. At least it's not Clank anymore. Sorry. But yeah, but the only reason I know that is because I was recently re-watching that Best Of. And it is after the point where we beat the game. Oh, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. I'll use Phil the wrench out. because I'm yeah, gonna dude. put my nuts on you. <laughs> yeah, but it was one of those things where it was like, I was talking, I, I said it li just like that too, where it was like really slow because I was like stalling for time to try to come up with any other thing to say, and I just couldn't. <laughs> but it just made it more awkward. <laughs> I put my nuts on you. <laughs> nice. Well done. Uh. Alright, let's do this. Would you like a black blast from the past? Sure. Uh, no, get that out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a picture of that one hat guy from Mario Party. The Valley View or whatever his name is. Yeah, who was there for like one fucking game. <laughs> because nobody liked him. <laughs> I mean, he was better than some of the hosts. He, he, okay, you know what I'll say? He was the host of a good game. It does not mean he was a good host. <laughs> That was, I believe, seven. It was like the last true Mario Party. Yeah, the same way that Pitbull is the host of fucking um, Deal or No Deal. Is he now? Yeah. No, it's Howard Mandel, but okay. I call him Pitbull. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got gotcha. you. I, I got gotcha. you. But like, does he actually bring? But does Howie actually bring any energy to that show? Have you watched it? He kind of does, actually. I mean, as good as a host could be, right? I mean, yeah. He's, he's not really needed. He's just 
kind of there. But he's a likable guy, at least. I mean, I guess. He's he was the, better on um, America's Got Talent. He's no Steve Harvey, I'll tell you that much. No, yeah, you're right. Steve Harvey is fantastic. He is, like, the best host of any show. Alright, fuck the sheep. All shows should be, har should be hosted by Steve Harvey. I'm, I'm starting a petition on change.org. Well, he, well... Okay. Link in the description. <laughs> Well, consider All shows should be hosted by Steve Harvey. <laughs> well, considering how much shit he, Steve Harvey is already doing, he's <laughs> on his way. I love him. He's great. I completely forgot about him until you said that, but you're right. He's <laughs> we need to clone Steve Harvey. So that he can be every host on every show, and all four judges on America's Got Talent. <laughs> Oh uh, yes, Harvey number one. What do you think of this? <laughs> uh, it was all right. all right. I'm not. Am I just supposed to jump into the lava and die? <laughs> Probably. I no, hang on. Take a look for a second. How did we end up on Clank again? Because Ratchet went up an elevator and then it blinked to Clank. God damn it! Do you want me to take it? I'll just take it. You, you know what? I gave you. If the, I just. I gave you it because I thought the Clank okay. shit was over. Here, here's the thing. If I just jump and there's nothing but lava below me, then we're switching to you do it. Fair enough. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> you need to go. It's like I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> At least it's a continue point. Alright, so. I think. Somehow. God damn it, stop. You do have a helicopter back. Oh, okay. Yeah, you just don't have a double jump. Which sucks. Fair enough. But yeah, uh, Howie, Man Howie Mandel was good on uh, America's Got Talent. Mainly right. because a lot of the acts uh, used him. Because, I don't know if you know this, but he's like a he's like a germaphobe. Oh, really? Yeah, like a hardcore, like, really bad germaphobe. Yeah. And so, like, every act that had something gross or weird always chose him to be the fucking thing to do it. And it was really funny. That's pretty funny. Like, every magic act always took him as the fucking volunteer. Yeah. They'd be like, any volunteers? And then, like, everyone would raise their hand, and, except for Ho Howie, and Howie would be like, Howie! They'd <laughs> 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 bring him up. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, he was actually good on that show. I don't know about Deal or No Deal. I don't think he has that much to do on Deal or No Deal. Yeah. He he's would... not really important, and that's not really his fault, but you're right. He doesn't yeah. really bring anything to that it, show. The whole premise of the show is that you just pick boxes until you get the m amount of money you want. Yeah. The that, fucking dude... It. The fucking dude who you only see the silhouette of in the distance is more important than Howie Mandel on that show. Yeah, the banker actually feels like he has more of a personality. Even though he doesn't do anything. Yeah, he... <laughs> His whole point is that he looks menacingly and tries to screw you over. Yeah. In fact, I'm just flat out convinced that the banker doesn't exist. That it's just a fucking video they're playing. Oh. Just to look ominous. I mean, it could be. Because, like, he doesn't ever actually do anything at all. Yeah, I mean... He just sits there looking menacingly, and then they go, Alright, banker, what's your offer? And then they take the mathematical average of all the remaining bets. Yeah. <laughs> Like minus ten percent or something. No, I think it's like the average, which means you're basically fucked if you do, fucked if you don't in that situation. Okay. It's like there's no statistical like choice that makes sense. No, because like if at the beginning, you know, even if you do pick good, your mm -hmm. with your winnings won't be good. Because Why? if you just took the mathematical average, then you would get like you know, ten thousand or something. And they never start that. The bridge. Because, like, yeah, you've got a million. And, but you've also got, like, a dollar. Yeah. So when you average it out, you start with, like, 10 to 20,000 if you actually did it. Huh. So I'm pretty sure there's. But they don't make an offer right at the start, I don't think. They do. They do? Yeah, and it's, it's like. It's been a long time since I've It's been, like, yet. six. They start offering, like, $6,000 or some shit just to, like, force you to not take the deal. Fair enough. Attack. Yeah, I, I know. I mean, I know now. I was dumb enough to not know before, but now I know. Please die. Thank you. There better not be anything else in this fucking room. 
So, like, there's really not much for Howie to say yeah, other than, yeah. like, oh, I talked to the banker, and here's what his offer is. Yeah. And comment on, oh, you got a good box, you've got a really good box. Yeah. That's it. Uh, yeah, so not Howie Mandel's fault, but he really does not do that much. Because there's not really much for the host to do. Exactly, yeah. Well, what what is there really for the for the Family Feud host to do? Well, he asked the questions. Yeah, he asked the questions, but yeah, okay. he also adds a lot to it on top of that. Well, well, yeah. Um, wh sorry, what's his name again? I I forgot. Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey. Thank you. I was stuck on Howie Mandel for some reason. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, Steve Harvey uh, does add a lot of personality to it, but I don't think that that's like I don't think that comes from the format of the show. Yeah. That comes from him. That, his personal magnetism. And, yeah. Like, how he just does, does not have that. Yeah. He's an alright guy. Check this out. This uh, another wrench. That other who, show, though. Who are you talking to? I don't know. For some reason, he just made me feel like this was a Sonic game for a second. You know, I just got this weird feeling of like, Whoa! Check this out! Like, what if it was a worse wrench? You just threw that one into the lava. Yeah. You didn't know that. Yeah, you haven't tried using it yet. It just looks shinier, I guess. I guess. <laughs> but clearly this looks better, so it's gonna be better. But you don't know that. Die in space. <laughs> Whoa, that was almost very bad. Space and die. Die of space. Fuck. Okay. Sorry, I, I'm using the wrench. I really shouldn't be. I'm using the wrench because it just gave us a wrench and I wanted to see how powerful it was. Well, and then I just got really stuck go. in the momentum of using the wrench. Even though, even, even though if the wrench dealt more damage now, you still shouldn't be using it. Exactly. The only way you would want to use it is if it was a one-hit kill. And even yeah. that is iffy. Even that is, like, circumstantial. Yeah, because everyone will just, like, massacre you from range while you take the time to waltz up. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty okay at dodging, but not good enough to justify that. I know how to dodge in this game, because it's not that different from the later games. Oh, fuck. I was trying to be cool, and for a second I was, and then I wasn't for several seconds after that. It's just like, oh, you tried, you cooled too hard, you got brain freeze. Yeah. Yeah, basically that's the gist of it. I think this is probably the last thing we're gonna do tonight. So, yeah, so I think it's your little friend out there? I do not know what you mean. As soon as we get to somewhere that feels safe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the suggestive side eye. He's like, yeah, he totally got some payoff from that. I know he hooked in, jacked in, you know. Yeah. He uploaded yep. his information onto his servers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jesus, I mean, okay. Alright, man, I mean, if you say so. <laughs> I feel like that was a sign we should stop. But I also don't feel like this is a very good stopping place. Yeah. So I'm going to ignore that sign, and when it inevitably comes back to bite me, just replay this clip of me saying this. It's <laughs> like, yeah, you should have listened, buddy. This doesn't count. This doesn't count as coming back to bite me yet. It's not that bad. Alright. Okay, okay. Alright. What is this? Ah, oh, this is actually cool. I like this actually. See, so you gotta get through here before it runs out. Before the lava comes back up. That's neat. I like that mechanic. Alright. All right. There's, there's a decent level design right there. There's The thing is, there are like a lot of little ideas that are really good, but they're just stitched together in such an asinine way sometimes. Yeah, I especially don't like how literally everything in this game is, but the plot is very obviously designed just to serve you to go to different levels. Yeah. I, I, I don't know how it could have been done better, but that's 
very obviously what it is. Yeah, they needed either a stronger plot or just less levels. And I wouldn't go with less levels because the levels are actually decent. Like, what makes this game fun, what makes this game most interesting is when you just do a lot of cool shit. Mm -hmm. And I think that having less levels would... Remove that. Would hinder your ability to do cool Keep shit. Yeah, I agree. The Thank problem you. is that in order to do all this cool shit, they kind of forgot to have a real plot. Or yeah. just have it be a bigger facility and have you go to different areas in the facility. Well, this game fits a lot into the old-style game development philosophy of make a game first and a story later. Yes, a lot of fact, old games did that. The fact that they have a lot of cutscenes makes it weird, Ratchet like... Yeah, okay, I get you. This gets through to you. I'm transmitting from the bugs for less fleet. This ship just returned from a megacorp distribution center, and I think I found the answer to it. That was a very different sound from a sneeze at first. Yeah. Wait a minute. What are you doing here? <laughs> Sending a message to your little mouths, huh? Well, say goodbye, boys. Take it ahead, boys. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna be a good place to stop. As soon as we see the ship. Angela knows how to defeat the brother bat. And and she does a terrible, terrible cat impression. And we have to rescue her from the thugs. Agreed. Agreed. We need that answer. And we have to protect her. Okay, okay. I will upload the coordinates. Alright, she's letting his dick do the thinking. Thinking with the other head, if you know what I mean. It's not like his normal head does much better. <laughs> Fair enough. It's like... He's like... Uh... We have to go save her. And Ratchet's like, you are clearly thinking with the wrong head. And Ratchet is... Er, Plank is like, you know. And then Ratchet is like... Okay, hang on, let me switch gears. And then his brain just goes... Uh, hoverboarding championship. Let's go! <laughs> yeah, because we gotta do it. Uh, like, okay, maybe go back to the other thing. Wait, hold up, let's... It may have been misguided, but it was go. It was bringing us in the correct direction, at least. Wait, let's, let's retrace our steps just a little bit. What do you mean? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I gotcha. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's take it back a few notches. I'm just gonna buy some ammo, and then... We have enough for that armor... Yeah, we need to go get that armor. Right so now. I'm gonna do that before we forget. Yeah, and then if we wait a week, we might forget and just get fucked absolutely even. butt fucked for a whole session. Yeah. We might just get fucked harder than what we were normally getting fucked. Yeah. Now I believe that was on this planet, but I think if we go to the other shopping spot, it'll be available there now. Yeah, the one in the testing facility, which I think it'll be easier to get to that one. Yeah. So we're just gonna go there. I mean, let's hope that's what it is. Yeah, otherwise, Because if, if it's not that, then that's just being mean to the players. Yeah, genuinely. Just, <laughs> you didn't have enough money the first time? Well, replay the whole level! <laughs> and it wasn't even a very fun level. <laughs> like, honk honk, go do it now. The end of that level was actually okay. Yeah. But a good portion of it was very frustrating. Sorry, I'm just doing that for now. My, my ratchet and plank instincts demand that I hit everything. <laughs> I'm a bot, and this was performed automatically. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so now we've got the various suit. Doesn't protect against fish. <laughs> That's it, we're done. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Doesn't protect against fish. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> Good night, and stay interesting. Stay interesting, my friends.